The following is a special presentation from the WTNS Sports Department. It's time for high school football, right here on the Sports Voice of East Central Ohio, WTNS. It's week four of the high school football season, and tonight's broadcast has Morgan taking on the Coshawton Redskins. Let's now go live to Stewart Field and to WTNS sports announcer, Steve Kortz. Thank you very much, uh, Trevor, and good evening, everyone. This is Steve Corey. He's along with Chris Wallace, and we're at Coshocton. It's Morgan who comes in with a record of 1-1, one and one, and they'll be meeting up with the Redskins, who are 0-3. Oh we'll be back with Coach's Corner in the pregame. This is high school football on WTNS Coshocton. If you're a business or do-it-yourselfer looking for the best possible siding for your home or office, then stop by MRV Siding Supply. They offer the number one rated panel on the market. Cedar Max Super Polymer Insulated Siding by Provia. Cedar Max provides outstanding performance inside and out with impact resistance, impervious to moisture, flame retardant, and noise reduction, giving you peace of mind. For Cedar Max Super Polymer Insulated Siding by Provia, call MRV Siding Supply at 800 524 7436. Visit them on the web at MRVSiding.com. Otsego Carryout in Coshocton is the only stop for whatever you need. Check out their deli, meat and cheese, a freshly made grab-and-go sandwich, and a large selection of Walnut Creek favorites. Otsego Carryout has these new items. Lemon, chocolate, and carrot cake rolls sold by the cake or piece, pasta salad, potato salad, Bob's famous homemade coleslaw, and the original chicken salad is back. Stop by Otsego Carryout today. If they don't have it, you don't need it. Stuck in a state of falling behind, struggling to keep up with your kids, finances, insurance? Then let me, State Farm Agent Kyle Libby in Coshocton, help you simplify and get to a better state. Because with me handling your auto, home, and life insurance, you'll have more time for everything else. More money, too. Because adding State Farm policies can mean earning discounts worth up to 40%. That's money I can put towards a college savings plan. Call me, State Farm Agent Kyle Libby, today and get to a better state with State Farm. Hi, this is Christy from Hubner's Auto Care. Does your vehicle need brakes, shocks, struts, AC work, an oil change, tire rotation, or other mechanical work? If you want honest, quality work at reasonable rates, come to Hubner's Auto Care. You can trust our experienced ASC certified technicians to always be upfront with you about what repairs you need or you don't need and to do those repairs right. For reasonable rates and quality work, it's Hubner's Auto Care, 512 Chestnut Street in Coshocton beside the post office. Call us at 740-622-4587. Pettacord Rice Auction Realty is a full-service auction and real estate company. Whether on-site or online auctions, their auction staff handles every aspect of your auction, from setup to completion. And for real estate, they walk you through all the necessary steps of buying or selling your property. They would love the opportunity to serve you. For appointments and free consultations, call 740-622-3111 or visit their website. At Petticord Rice Auction Realty, they don't just list homes, they sell them. Individual commitment to a group effort. That is what makes a team work, a company work, a society work, a civilization work. Vince Lombardi. This is Brandon Smith from Liddy Scrapyard. Commitment is something we believe in. Commitment from our employees to our customers, schools, and community. This is why we are happy to support this high school football broadcast. For great service and current competitive pricing, give Liddy Scrapyard a call, 740-622-6220, or visit us on County Road 621, just behind ODOT at the west edge of Canal Louisville. If you are involved in an accident, you want your vehicle to be repaired quickly and correctly? I'm Stacy Rice, Office Manager of Kashok Conclusion, where we put you, the customer, first. We complete your auto body repairs as promised, we guarantee our work, and we use the latest environmental friendly paint products from PPG. Whenever you are involved in a collision, come to Kashok Inclusion Center, 225 Main Street in Town Center, Kashokton, across from Wilson's Carpet and Furniture, or call us at 623-7347. 
Hi, this is James from the Coshocton Coffee Connection. Whether you're heading to work or going back to school, start your day with us. Try one of our made-to-order breakfast sandwiches or our biscuits and gravy. On Mondays, all breakfast sandwiches are half off. Sweeten your day with our made-from-scratch cinnamon rolls, scones, muffins, or cream sticks. We open at 6 a.m. Monday through Saturday. Stop by the Coshocton Coffee Connection at 750 South 2nd Street in Coshocton. If you own a farm, you know that a one-size-fits-all insurance policy isn't a smart way to do business. I'm John Ionello, your American National Insurance Agent in Coshocton, Holmes, and surrounding counties. American National can provide you with a flexible farm package that allows you to customize a policy to match your individual needs. Call me at 740-295-9460. Because while you know your business, we know how to help insure it. Need a venue for your next event? Call the Epicenter. With 1,500 square feet of space, there's plenty of room to host your affair. Situated in the Epicenter of West Lafayette at the corner of Main and Kirk Streets, it also has amenities for your graduation or birthday party, bridal or baby shower, community gathering, or work presentation. The Epicenter, 100 East Main Street, West Lafayette. Reserve the Epicenter to celebrate life's greatest moments and have an epic occasion. Call 740-502-5288. This is the Mouse Man from RAM 5 Point Auto Sales, and we're rocking this season. We have a large selection of clean, newer vehicles to fit everyone's budget. If you drive by the Five Point Light and don't see what you're looking for, stop and let us know. We'll go find it for you. When you buy a car from RAM Five Point, we take care of your vehicle for the life of the vehicle. We'll wash your car every two weeks. For- Coach's Corner is brought to you by the Inslee Insurance Agency. For auto, home, business, and life insurance, call 740-622-1111. That's the Inslee Insurance Agency, 433 Walnut Street, Coshocton. The Inslee Agency is proud to be a part of this high school sports broadcast. We support the student athletes on the team and the students in all extracurricular activities. Hi, I'm Todd Inslee. In fact, your good student may qualify for discounted auto insurance rates. We can provide you with homeowner's insurance and life insurance from Auto Owners Insurance. Insure both of us and save even more. For a no-obligation quote on auto, homeowners, or life insurance from Auto Owners Insurance, call the Inslee Agency at 622-1111. My guest on Coach's Corner, Steve Smith, the head coach of the Coshocton Redskins. The Redskins at home tonight against Morgan. And uh, just kind of, since I haven't seen you since week one, just a thumbnail on how you think you're progressing as we go into this ball game here this evening. You know, uh, the last couple of weeks we've played better defensively. Uh, You know, we've played well on special teams. Uh, We're still making too many mistakes, uh, you know, offensively that have, 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 you know, stalled drives and have cost us uh, yardage. And, you know, we just need to continue to get better and fix that uh, for tonight. All right, now let's uh, let's talk a little bit about the offense. Uh, you know, you have some dynamic people in the backfield. We talked a little bit about the line starting to come along a little bit. How do you feel at this stage about your offense? Uh, you know, I mean, we're, we're getting some different looks to kind of, you know, put our, our skilled guys in different positions to get them the ball in different ways than what we have in the past. Um, you know, uh, we, we had some success with it early in the first half last week, and then we kind of stalled out in the second half. Um, just too many mistakes. And, uh, you know, we're going to continue doing that, and, and hopefully we, we start clicking and, you know, people start seeing what our, our skill guys can do. You know, let's talk a little bit about Corbin Haley. You know, there's no question he's a marked man. He's, a, he's you know, he's a, he played really well last year, and he, even under some tough circumstances, has played pretty well this year. Definitely a marked guy out there. Yeah, I mean, I, you know, Corbin's not a secret anymore. Uh, you know, everybody knows what a dynamic athlete he is, and, and you know, he's going to be marked on the field. He's that guy that, you know, during the week he has the on scout team, they have a, a jersey on that kid saying, you got to find 15 wherever he's at. We're going to continue to move him around. We're going to continue to try to block for him. If we give him a crease, he's going to take it. All right, let's talk a little bit about Morgan. Uh, what can we expect with the Raiders this evening? Uh, they, they, you know, they run a multiple set offense. Um, you know, they're primarily in the gun, but it's, it's an old school type of offense. You know, they run a lot of power. Um, you know, they, they run two backs in, 27 and 28. Um, you know, their quarterback shifty runs a decent, you know, throws a decent ball. Um, but, uh, you know, they come off the ball up front and, uh, you know, they, they're coming off a win. You know, they've had the COVID, they had to be shut down for COVID last week and, 
they won week two, so they're going to be coming in here with some confidence. They're ready to play. Uh, they've had two weeks to prepare for this, so, um, you know, we, we expect a good ball game. All right, last question, health of the ball club. How's everybody doing? Uh, we have some injuries with some younger guys, but as far as the guys that are going to be playing Friday night, uh, we can roll out the whole team. All, all right, thank you very much. I said Coach Steve Smith. We'll be back with the pregame. This is high school football on WTNS, Coshocton. Coach's Corner has been brought to you by the Inslee Insurance Agency, 433 Walnut Street in Coshocton. Call the Inslee Insurance Agency at 740-622-1111 or go to InsleeAgency.com. This is the Mouse Man from RAM 5 Point Auto Sales, and we're rocking this season. We have a large selection of clean, newer vehicles to fit everyone's budget. If you drive by the Five Point Light and don't see what you're looking for, stop and let us know. We'll go find it for you. When you buy a car from RAM 5 Point, we take care of your vehicle for the life of the vehicle. We'll wash your car every two weeks for as long as you own it. At RAM 5 Point, 1102 Chestnut is where your driving dreams come true. Life is full of uncertainties. What happens to your assets after you pass away shouldn't be one of them. At Raymond James Financial Services, we offer a transfer on death agreement that allows your estate to be held in a brokerage account, so it avoids the probate process and goes directly to your heirs. To find out how to make things easier for your loved ones, call financial advisor Shane Pyle at 622-3110, located in Coshocton. Raymond James Financial Services, member FINRA SIFIC. Life well planned. Welcome back, high school football fans. There is nothing like the sights and sounds of Friday night football under the lights. Here at Extreme Little Purchase, we are your hometown team with all the MVP products. You'll be jumping off sides to relax on our many Ashley Furniture sofa loves and bedroom sets. Catch your fantasy team picks on one of our 65 to 82 inch LG TVs. Try stopping a blitz to the fridge with our full line of Crossley and Frigidaire appliances. Our all-star team is here to help without hesitating so you can score your extreme touchdown savings. Extreme Little Purchase, downtown or plaza, Coshocton, and Worcester. Extremely gratifying, extremely satisfying. Coshocton Regional Medical Center has been proudly recognized as a 2021 Top 100 Hospital in the Nation by Fortune and IBM Watson Health. This distinction demonstrates our ongoing commitment to patient-centered care right here in Coshocton. With over 6,000 hospitals in the nation, we are proud of our employees and staff whose hard work and dedication to our patients made us a top 100 hospital. Coshocton Regional Medical Center, where care matters most. Bad hair day? Bad day at the office? Bad day behind the wheel? Hey, stuff happens, even to the best of us. At least your car insurance rate doesn't have to take a hit. Get Erie Rate Lock from Erie Insurance. Gives you a great rate that stays put until you change a car, driver, or your address. Plus, seriously good service. Now that's something to smile about. Your local Erie agent in Coshocton is Albertson Lawrence Agency. Get a quote at 740-622-0572. Erie Rate Lock does not guarantee continued insurance coverage and is not available in all states. Coshocton Opportunity School has the highest graduation rate out of 86 similar programs in the state of Ohio and is rated as exceeds standards in all areas of graduation. They have a combined administrative experience of 55 years and combined teaching experience of 127 years. They offer a state-required core curriculum, a career-based instruction program, and several electives including art, life skills, parenting, and relationship building. Please call 740-622-3600 if you are interested in applying. Greeno's Pizza in downtown or Plaza has a new Saturday special. Now, every Saturday, you can get an extra-large 16-inch, one-topping pizza for only $10.99. That's only $10.99 for an extra-large, one-topping pizza every Saturday. We have increased our delivery drivers to help you get your Carino's pizzas, subs, and salads even quicker. We have daily specials available for delivery, carry-out, and dine-in. You can order online at carinospizzacode.com or give us a call in Coshocton at 740-295-9611. If you're a business or do-it-yourselfer looking for the best possible siding for your home or office, then stop by MRV Siding Supply. They offer the number one rated panel on the market, Cedar Max Super Polymer Insulated Siding by Provia. Cedar Max provides outstanding performance inside and out with impact resistance, impervious to moisture, flame retardant, and noise reduction, giving you peace of mind. 
For Cedar Max Super Polymer Insulated Siding by Provia, call MRV Siding Supply at 800 524 7436. Visit them on the web at MRVSiding.com. All of how quarterback Gabe Tingle. Josiah Cahill will take over at the quarterback and have, and it will be, go with Keegan Millender and Xavier Lamnick. To turn them, they'll be the people they'll rely on. Defensively, the Generals will continue to control the line of scrimmage led by Caden Bradford. Look for the Generals to continue to roll in this ball game this evening, and it's at Ridgewood. Riverview 2-1 and one is at Philo 2-1. and one. The Bears are coming off an impressive win a week ago against Meigs. They will continue to rely on Carter Fry and a host of receivers led by Slater Samsel. Philo will create problems for the Riverview defense. Penalties and turnovers could be the key in this one. That brings us to our feature game, and it's homecoming here at Coshocton. Coshocton is 0-3 against Morgan, 1-1. This is a big one for the Skins. If they want to challenge for the lower division championship, this is an important game in the MVL. Coshocton will run out of the wing tee and rely on uh, Corbin Haley and Isaac Shook in the backfield. The offense has been hurt by penalties in the first three games. Defensively, Coshocton has played well the last two weeks and will try and hopefully they will continue that tonight. Look for Skins to get the, uh, their offense going and pick up a win, number one, here this evening. Taking a look around the area and other games, uh, as mentioned, it'll be Mays, Maysville will be at Tri-Valley, which should be an interesting game. Newcomerstown travels to Connaughton Valley. Buckeye trails at Claymont. Beechcroft goes to Cambridge. Crooksville is at Meadowbrook. Akron East goes to Dover. East Canton is at Tusky Valley. TCC will be at Garraway. John Glenn travels to Sheridan in a big ball game. Malvern goes to Sandy Valley. West Muskingum will play New Lexington. Canfield's at New Philly. Fort Fry visits Zanesville in a good ball game. And Crestline will play Strasburg. We'll be back with the national anthem and the starting lineups. This is high school football on WTNS Coshocton. The first half of tonight's game is probably being brought to you by Coshocton Recycling at the intersection of County Road 1A and Bridge Street. you need a new or newer vehicle? Hi, I'm Jeff Drennan, and we are here to help in both sales and service. At my dealerships in Coshocton and Zanesville, we work hard to get you the best car deal possible, including during the current conditions in the car industry. Or if you want to sell your vehicle and it has under 100,000 miles, just stop in and see us and let us make you an offer. Stop in today at Jeff Drennan's Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram of Coshocton, Jeff Drennan Ford, or Jeff Drennan's GM Superstore in Zanesville. And always remember, when you're thinking of buying a new car, it's time to talk to Jeff. Stop in to Coshocton Furniture for huge savings on Rushmore double-sided mattresses and foundations. A full-size double-sided mattress and foundation was $1099 and is now only $675. The savings continue with the Rushmore Queen Set and also the Rushmore King Size Double Sided Mattress and Foundation was $1,399 and is now only $975. Take advantage of these big savings now at Coshocton Furniture. Delivery is available as well as no interest financing. Coshocton Furniture, 341 Main Street, across from the courthouse. The Dairy Hut on Main Street in West Lafayette has the area's best sandwiches and burgers, ice cream, and fried favorites. Stop by and try their delicious food like the Kraken Burger, four pounds in all. They have the best in cold treats and good eats plus low discount prices. Don't wait in line. Call in your order at 545-7579 and use their convenient drive through to pick it up. The Dairy Hut is open Monday through Thursday from 10 to 8, Friday and Saturday from 10 to 9, and Sunday from 11 to 8. In this moment, who has your back? Do you know the name of your insurance agent? Does your agent know your name? Or would you call a 1-800 number that connects you with who? Another state? Another country? Get a local, independent insurance agent with Auto Owners Insurance. Someone you can call when bad stuff happens. In this moment, get an agent who will protect you in that moment. Visit me, Clint Pushcarriage, at the Jacobs Vanneman Agency in Coshocton, or give us a call at 740-622-1796. Individual commitment to a group effort. That is what makes a team work, a company work, 
a society work, a civilization work. Vince Lombardi. This is Brandon Smith from Liddy Scrapyard. Commitment is something we believe in. Commitment from our employees to our customers, schools, and community. This is why we are happy to support this high school football broadcast. For great service and current competitive pricing, give Liddy Scrapyard a call, 740-622-6220. Or visit us on County Road 621, just behind ODOT at the west edge of Canal Louisville. When looking for a new home, you deserve personal and professional service. Sheila Shingleton at Carol Goff & Associates is a qualified local realtor that will take care of your needs every step of the way. Sheila has the knowledge and experience to guide you whether you are buying or selling. If you are planning to buy, she can help you find your dream home. If you are selling real estate, she will help you with everything from pricing to marketing to putting up the sold sign. Call Sheila Shingleton from Carol Goff & Associates anytime at 740-610-5032 or stop by their local office at 404 North 2nd Street in Coshocton. The National Anthem is being brought to you by the Coshocton Driver Training School, offering driver's education and adult remedial classes in Coshocton, Newcomerstown, Millersburg, Dresden, and New Philadelphia, with private lessons available upon request. The Coshocton Driver Training School is proud to bring you the National Anthem. Now available in five convenient locations, the Driver Training School supports local athletes fighting on the field and fighting for our country. To schedule an appointment at any of the five locations, call 740-552-1639. or just pets in the field. They can look and feel their best with that. This is Randy Jacobs from DAC Vitamins and Minerals. We've been feeding champion show animals since 1983, bringing you the best in supplements for your horses and livestock to help them look and perform their best. Whether in a show ring, pulling a plow, your buggy, or just pets in the field, they can look and feel their best with DAC. Find a dealer near you at FeedDAC.com or call the office at 800-921-9121 and talk to Trapper Troyer for details. And always remember to feed DAC. Coshocton Regional Medical Center has been proudly recognized as a 2021 Top 100 Hospital in the Nation by Fortune and IBM Watson Health. This distinction demonstrates our ongoing commitment to patient-centered care right here in Coshocton. With over 6,000 hospitals in the nation, we are proud of our employees and staff whose hard work and dedication to our patients made us a top 100 hospital. Coshocton Regional Medical Center, where Are you care. concerned about the economy, interest rates, or current market conditions? For timely information based on award-winning research, call Raymond James Financial Advisor Shane Pyle at 622-3110. Shane can discuss your specific needs and provide you with investment choices that make sense for you. Call Shane Pyle at 622-3110 in Coshocton for an appointment. Raymond James Financial Services, member FINRA SIPC. Life well planned. In life, you get what you pay for, and you always look to save a little extra cash. But when it comes to your car, do you really want to cut corners? 
Or do you want to make sure, in the event of an accident, you get your vehicle fixed the right way? Brillhart's Body Shop will give you the quality, attention to detail, and satisfaction you deserve when getting your vehicle fixed. Give Brillhart's Body Shop a call at 740-622-0121 or stop by 622 Main Street in Coshocton. Keep your vehicle on the road with new tires or mechanical work from Shriver Tire Service. Shriver Tire offers new tires for passenger, truck, and farm vehicles as well as light mechanical work. Custom wheels are now available as well as financing. Shriver Tire is now an authorized dealer for Falcon Tires. For more information, stop by 2171 Otsego Avenue or give them a call at 622-6989. hot pepper jelly, thick cut applewood smoked bacon, pasta salad, To Stewart Field, the starting lineups are brought to you by R.J. Wright & Sons, a locally owned family business offering a full line of ag diesel, lubricants, and gasoline. You can't go right, you can't go wrong with the right fuel. And with the Coshocton offense, we're going to start off with Coos. All right. Thank you very much, Chris. And for Coshocton, the split end will be number seven, Abe Jarvis, 6'3", 165-pound senior. The tight end, number four, Judah Nelson, a 5'11", 160-pound senior. The tackles tonight will be number 77, Landon Wentz, a 6'215", pound senior. And number 75, Jacob DeShong, a 6'3", 220-pound senior. The guards, number 72, Brent Kirkpatrick, a 6'200", pound senior. And number 61, Michael Walters, a 5'11", 200 40 pound junior at center will be number 20 Brandon Crown a 5'10 285 pound senior in the backfield the quarterback will be Kobe Rust a 5'9 165 pound senior the fullback is number 12 Isaac Chuck a 6'3 210 pound senior the wingbacks number 15 Corbin Haley a 6'1 195 pound senior and number two Caden White is a 5'5 170 pound junior now with the Morgan defense here's Chris Wallace thank you very much Coos the Morgan defense starting at the defensive back positions a 5'9", 170-pound senior, number one, Levi Brown. And a 5'9", 165-pound junior, number two, Coleman Welsh. And another defensive back, a 5'10", 180-pound sophomore, number 17, Logan Nicewander. Also at the defensive back, a 5'11", 135-pound sophomore, number 18, Dylan Compton. Taking a look at linebackers, a 5'9", 170-pound senior, number 25, Daniel Toki. Also at linebacker, a 5'10", 180-pound junior, number 27, Aiden Weaver. Another linebacker, 5'10", 170-pound senior, number 32, Cameron McCoy. Defensive lineman, a 5'9", 220-pound senior, number 52, Zane Lloyd. Also on the line, a 5'9", 225-pound junior, number 55, Devin Woods. Also on the line, a 6'4", 220-pound junior, number 58, Seth Miller. Again on the line, a 6'3", 220-pound junior, number 71, Wade Poley. The starting lineups have been brought to you by R.J. Wright & Sons, an industry leader in providing complete residential and commercial fuel needs. R.J. Wright & Sons out in Coshocton in is the only stop for whatever you need. Well. Check out their... All right, we'll be back with a kickoff. This is high school football on WTNS Coshocton. Otsego Carryout in Coshocton is the only stop for whatever you need. Check out their deli, meat and cheese, a freshly made grab-and-go sandwich, and a large selection of Walnut Creek favorites. Otsego Carryout has these new items. Lemon, chocolate, and carrot cake rolls sold by the cake or piece, pasta salad, potato salad, Bob's famous homemade coleslaw, and the original chicken salad is back. Stop by Otsego Carryout today. If they don't have it, you don't need it. or in New Commerce Town at 498. To Stewart Field, tonight's opening kick is brought to you by Dean's Jewelry in Coshocton and Mount Vernon. At Dean's Jewelry, they believe your jewelry experience should be fun. All right, we're ready to get things underway. It'll be Caden Whitus and Corbin Haley back deep for Coshocton, and we're just about ready to get this underway from Stewart Field. It's homecoming, and... Officials are now getting ready, and we should be just about ready to get this underway. Levi Brown will be doing the kicking for 
Morgan, and he approaches the football, and we're underway. A little kick down the right side. Hannah bounces and picked up by Rust at the 25. He's moving outside 30. He's got a lane, 35-40. Cuts back inside the 45, gets out around midfield before being driven out of bounds, and it'll be first and 10 for the Redskins. Before we get started here, also I want to thank, I've been gone for a couple weeks. I want to thank Casey Claxon for uh, two weeks ago. And last week, um, Jeremy Scott was filled in, and we, I appreciate that, and uh, it was good, 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 good to get that done. Yeah, good to have you back in the booth, Coos. <laughs> All right, here we go. Redskins have it at the 49-yard line, first and 10. Wing T formation, rest out of them. Out of the gun, gets a snap, hands off to Haley, speed sweep right, cuts back to the midfield, now gets out wide to the 45, now to the 40, crosses the 40 and gets down around the 38-yard line. That'll be enough for a first down. So right off the get-go, speed sweep to the right side. Haley gets good yardage and a first down for the Redskins. Nice run by Haley and Logan Nicewanger on the stop for Morgan. Pick up of 12 for Haley, it'll be a first and 10. Redskins looking for their first win of the season. Out of the huddle. White is split wide right. Haley offset to the left side behind the quarterback rust. White is in motion, gets a handoff and a speed sweep. Goes wide, cuts it up inside the 30. He's the 25, the 20, the 15, the 10, five touchdown, Kishockton. And they waste no time as Caden White is on the inside handoff, gets it at the 38, no flags. Touchdown, Redskins. Yeah, nice speed sweep. Redskins kind of ran a sweep to the right side. This time they tried the, the sweep to the left side and running room he had and into the end zone. And well, that's going to make them awful happy. That's been one thing that they've had struggled with early on is getting points on the board. And that time they strike quickly in two plays and go up six to nothing. Shockton try to add the PAT, Zane Bryant. Puts the ball down, and it is up and through. So with 11.24 to play in the opening quarter, Coshocton jumps out in front 7 and nothing. We'll be back. This is high school football on WTNS Coshocton. Let Domino's cook dinner for you. All day, every day, get a large three-topping pizza, and now our handmade pan pizza with three toppings, two layers of cheese on a crispy golden crust for only $7.99. Carry out only. Don't miss out on this great limited time offer. Call us in Geshockton at 622-9345 or in Newcomerstown at 498-4131. Art Saylor here from Saylor Wealth Strategies. Most people assume they need a large amount of wealth to hire a financial advisor. Not true. I think outside the box to customize a plan for the individual. I also educate my clients along the way about how and why a plan can help and work for them. The key is to have a plan. If you'd like more information or to schedule a free consultation, call Sailor Well Strategies at 740-575-4782. We're here to help you achieve your financial goals. Securities offered through registered representatives of Cambridge Investment Research Incorporated, a broker-dealer member FINRA SIPC. Advisory services offered through Cambridge Investment Research Advisors Incorporated, a registered investment advisor. Sailor Wealth Strategies LLC and Cambridge are not affiliated. Bring your family and your friends to Customer Appreciation Day. Approaching the ball, high, booming kick, and takes it. They're going to let Blaine come it out at the five. And Haley's down there, and he gets him inside the 10-yard line. Great kick coverage by the Redskins. Corbin Haley with a big hit as Welsh came out with it, and they've got it first and 10, and they're sitting on their own eight-yard line. A great play by Corbin Haley, really sprinted down the field and wide open tackle and, and well done on the tackle, just threw him right down to the ground. So a long way to go for Morgan as they'll have it first and 10 at the eight. Out of the huddle come the Raiders. The quarterback is going to be Levi Brown. Behind him will be Carson Copeland. Moving in motion is Nice Wagner. Hand it off to Copeland, he pounds up inside, gets out maybe to the 10-yard line. Let's see where they mark it. Be a pickup of two on the play. So it'll be a second and eight situation. Second and eight for the Raiders, ball sitting at the 10-yard line. 
Same alignment. They have two split to the right side. Copeland behind the quarterback, Levi Brown. In motion is Weaver. Handoff once again, trying to bounce outside, breaks a tackle, and the ball is finally brought down as he pu pushed it out close to the 15-yard line. So that will bring up a third and all along four situation. Copeland gets four, has six yards and a couple carries, and it will be third down and four from the 15-yard uh, line. Third down situation. Power situation once again. Carl Copeland behind the quarterback, Levi Brown. Brown has the ability to run, so you have to make sure you account for him. Looking, gets a snap, fakes, hands the ball to Copeland again, trying to bounce outside. Looks like he may have gotten the first down just by a fraction. But that will, they'll mark it down at that looks like the 19, so that'll be a pickup of four on the play and end up for the first down. First first down in the ball game for Morgan. 9.50, clock moving. Coshocton scored quickly. They lead it seven to nothing. Brown taking a look at the coaching staff, trying to get the play. Play clock down to 10. Now they're in the alignment. Still having a tough time getting set up as play clock hits four. They're gonna have to hurry. Brown under center takes the snap. They try to bounce it outside, and he keeps his feet and is finally dragged down from behind. Nice open field tackle. Looked like it might go for more. Yeah, Corbin Haley with a nice tackle for the Redskins. So nice. Aiden Weaver with the, is the ball carrier, and he moves it out to the 23 for a pickup of four on the play. So that makes it a second and six situation. Raiders power using power football here in the early going. Under nine minutes to play in the opening frame. Under center this time is Levi Brown. Brown running out of the eye formation this time. Gets a snap. Hands up power ends inside and pushes out across the 25 out to about the 27 or 8 yard line. So going with the power. And let's see where they mark it. They're going to mark it down at the 28 for a pickup of five on the play. Looks like Connor Cox on the stop for the Redskins. Wade Polly was the carrier that particular time. Polly gets five, so it'll be another third and short situation. I formation once again. Once again, they give it to the big guy, and he stack him up, and I don't think he's going to get there. He's not. And he's going to be right back to the original line of scrimmage. Great job by the interior of that Coshocton defense, pushing him back, forcing a fourth and one situation. Yeah, host of Redskins on the tackle. Landon Wentz, I believe, one of the first ones in there for the Redskins. And looks like they're going to send out the punting unit. And dropping back for Coshocton will be Haley and I believe Whitus. We'll wait and see. So fourth down situation, at least at this point, looks like the Redskins have managed to hold. Ready? There's a snap, goes straight through, kicks away, booming kick. Angles over, ball hits at the 40-yard line, goes straight up in the air, and they down it at about the 39 or 40. It looks like they're going to mark it at the 40. So it'll be Coshocton first football, first and 10. Are you thinking about selling your home? At Village Motors, we take great pride in our product, and we have two new models in stock that we're very excited about. Hi, this is Deke Miller, and the full-size Ford Bronco has finally arrived. It is built Ford tough, and it just screams Bronco when you look at it. The Jeep Wrangler will now have a great competitor for years. It's now marked at the 39, so they'll have it first and 10. Wing T formation. Rust out of the gun. Gets a snap, rolls to his left side. He's going to, looks like he's going to keep it all the way. Gets a block, seals it to the 40. Pushes across the 45-yard line. Nice job, found a little hole and picked up good yardage to the 45 for a pickup of six for the Coshocton quarterback. So it'll make it a second and four situation. Coleman Welsh on the tackle for Morgan. His first tackle in the first quarter. 
Redskins, at least right now, Chris, uh, using that, uh, trying to attack the perimeter with speed sweeps. Yeah, they certainly are. The first two plays, a sweep to the right, sweep to the left, and, uh, you know, kind of keeping the quarterback sweep here in that last play. Uh, the huddle they come once again. Out of the gun, two receivers split to the right side. Gets the snap. Hand off to Haley. He's hit at the line of scrimmage and brought down right there. Good penetration by Morgan. He was going to lose a couple back to the 42-yard line, so that's going to be a loss of three for Corbin Haley. So that will make it a third down and seven situation. Ball sitting at the 42. That was Zane Lloyd with the big tackle for Morgan. Clock moving, 6.08 to play in the opening frame. Kashokton out in front, seven to nothing. Redskins out of the huddle. They have Tripp split to the right side. Whitus is split to the left. Haley in the backfield. Russ gets the snap. Goes back looking. Now scrambling. Looking to pass and run. He's in trouble. Now he keeps it himself. He throws it up. It's caught. About the 30-40. The crosses the 40 and gets down to about the 38. That's Corbin Haley makes the catch. As Russ waited to the last second, found Haley open in the flat, caught the football, moved it down inside Morgan territory to the 38, a big first down for Coshocton. Yeah, Russ definitely in trouble on that play and made kind of something out of nothing. Nice play by Coshocton. That was Logan Nicewanger on the stop for Morgan. 20 yards on the pickup, so first and 10, second first down of the ball game for Coshocton. Under six minutes to play here in the opening frame, seven to nothing, Redskins on the move. Russ, the quarterback, Haley offset to the right side. Gets the snap, hands off Haley, speed sweep, cuts it up inside of the 35, the 30, the 25, the 20, and finally brought down as he got down close to the 20-yard line. So Corbin Haley picks up 18 on the carry as he goes from the 38 to the 20, first and 10 for Coshocton. Cameron McCoy on the stop for Morgan. 27 yards and three carries for Corbin Haley, first and 10 Redskins at the 20. Warehouse Steak and Stein is proud to sponsor tonight's Player of the Game. Tonight's Player of the Game will receive a gift certificate for a famous Warehouse cheeseburger and order their legendary onion rings. This is courtesy of Warehouse Steak and Stein in Roscoe Village. Redskin split two to the left side. And, oh, no, Russ keeps it himself, cuts up inside, just pushes forward inside the 20, gets down to around the 16 or 17. Let's see where they mark it. Faked the handoff, kept it himself, and picked up a couple yards before being brought down. They're going to mark it back to the, well, actually, they're marking it back to the 18, so only gave him two on the play. Aiden Weaver on the stop for the Raiders. So it makes it a second and eight situation. Hardesty checks in. Redskins will put trips to the right side. One to the left is widest. Shook offset to the right side behind the quarter, beside the quarterback, Kobe Russ. Russ straight back to throw, looks, a little lofts it into the end zone. Whitus goes up, can't come down with it, pass incomplete. Had a shot at it, but just a little bit too tall, so it makes it a third down and eight situation. Third and eight for the Redskins. Jarvis brings the play in from the sideline. He'll split out to the right side. Haley and will also go to the right side. White is split left. Shook in the backfield. Let's see what they call here. Rust has the ball, rolls to the right side, pass a run, looks. Still now in trouble, backs out, gets away from a one to tackler, now still looking. And just pushed out of bounds about the line of scrimmage. Nobody open downfield. Had good penetration by the defense and forced him to go to the outside and nobody opened, so he just uh, took it out of bounds. So it brings up a fourth down situation. 3.51 to play here in the opening frame. 7 nothing, Coshocton. Judah Nelson brings the play in from the sideline. Shook offset the left side. 
Russ, now there's a whistle, and I believe Morgan may have called a timeout. They have, so we'll break away for a moment and be back. This is High School Football on WTNS. Kashaw. At Village Motors, we take great pride in our product, and we have two new models in stock that we're very excited about. Hi, this is Deke Miller, and the full-size Ford Bronco has finally arrived. It is built Ford tough, and it just screams Bronco when you look at it. The Jeep Wrangler will now have a great competitor for years to come. It is the real deal, and you need to see it and drive it for yourself. Also, the Grand Cherokee Extended Length L model has arrived. The first third seat option for the Grand Cherokee, it combines luxury and off-road capability with the ability to carry seven passengers. Stop out soon to see the Bronco and the Grand Cherokee L at Village Motors in Millersburg. 51 to play here in the opening frame. Kashokton got the first score of the game on a 38-yard touchdown run by Caden Whitus, and that's where we stand. Kashokton has the football fourth down and eight. The ball sitting at the 18-yard line. So the Morgan Raiders got a quick timeout, so Coshocton will come out with three split left, one right. Shook will be offside, offset to the left side, to the wide side of the field. Boy, uh, Russ gets the snap, back looking over the middle. The pass is deflected, incomplete, and that'll turn the ball over on downs. The ball will go over to the Morgan Raiders. Tried to find Whitus on the slant pattern, uh, but deflected away by the defense. So. Morgan holds, and they'll take over first and 10. The Coshocton Coffee Connection wants to remind you that all drinks, all sizes, are half-priced every Wednesday. Have your favorite made hot, iced, or frozen. They open Monday through Saturday at 6 a.m. and are open Wednesdays until 5 p.m. First and 10, and Raiders out of the huddle. They'll be out of the gun this time. Levi Brown, the quarterback. Carson Copeland offset to the right side. Gets the snap. And a blitz is on and nowhere to run, and Copeland is going to be thr thrown for a loss on the play all the way back to the 15-yard line. Tackled by a host of Redskins on the play. Corbin Haley, the first one there, his third tackle in the first quarter. So a loss of three makes it a, third, a second down and 13 situation. Didn't notice who that man was that blitzed from that right side linebacker spot, but got in there quickly and made a nice stop on the play. Yeah, I believe that was Corbin Haley, kind of first one there. And uh, as you mentioned, a very nice blitz, nice timing. So now it's a second and 13 situation. Out of the gun, Levi Brown gets a snap. Looking, looking, pass goes over the middle, pass is complete. No, it's incomplete. The ball was hit as the ball arrived by a host of Redskins and goes incomplete. First passing attempt of the ball game is incomplete, makes it a third and 13 situation. Shockton had a pretty close chance there, kind of when he got tackled, almost the ball kind of landed off his chest, and Shockton almost had a chance to pick it up, but just hit the ground. Yeah, ball popped out, so third and 13 situation. Ball sitting at the 15-yard line of the Morgan Raiders. Wide receiver split to the right side. That would be Welch. Man in motion across the formation. There's a snap. Brown straight back to throw, looking, looking, in trouble. And he throws it deep down the middle. Nobody, they're going to call an, in, an, an interference call. And... Looks like, from our vantage point, it was Jacob Lonsberry that ran into the receiver. And that'll be, let's see what they, probably should be enough for a first down. Let's wait and see. Ball, they're marking it from the 15, and it will be. So big penalty there. 15 yards, first penalty of the night. And ball moves that out to the 30, first and 10. So first and 10 for the Morgan Raiders. Coming out of the lineup is Judah Nelson. And yep. racing in will be Smith. Smith the junior now Seem to be ready to go. First and 10 in the backfield now. It's Wade Pauley, big number 71 out of that fullback spot. 
Back to throw. He's got a man open out in the flat and just a little too long, incomplete. Had a play, another receiver deep down the middle. More uh, number 17 uh, was wide open. Uh, Logan Newswinger, but they didn't see him, and pass goes incomplete. Yeah, just a little bit overthrown and kind of double covered there by Kashokton. Nice defense. So I'll make it a second and 10 situation. 2.46 to play here in the opening frame. Kashokton got on the board first on a 38 yard touchdown run by Caden Wild. By Caden Whitus. Some trips to the right side for Morgan. There's a snap, looking, now he's gonna keep it himself, has some running room, gets to the outside, now tries to keep his feet moving and dives across the 35 to about the 36. So that'll give him, leave it a third in about four situation. Pick up of six by Brown. Dustin Hall on the stop for the Redskins. Third and four situation. Shockton trying to get a stop here. Ball at the 36-yard line. Trips to the right side. Empty backfield for Levi Brown. Gets the snap straight back, rolling to the right side. Pass a run. Now throws it deep down the middle of the field. Ball is tipped, and it goes incomplete. Nice job of reaction by Shockton's defensive back. And doing that job, number nine, Trey Cox, the freshman. I tell you, yeah, nice tip. Almost looked like it was going to go over his head to a complete pass, but uh, had a nice leap and got some touch on the ball and, and was able to bat it down. That'll bring up a fourth down situation. Fourth down punting situation for Morgan. 2.04 to play here in the opening frame. Shockton with Whitus and Haley back deep. Haley, ball low snap, but he gets it away. Booming kick down the right side, angles it out, well out of bounds. It'll be interesting to see where they mark this. And walking it up and still walking it up. And it'll be at the 47, so Kashokton's going to have excellent field position to start this drive. Yeah, the Morgan Raiders punter has got a very good leg, and Gets a lot of air under the ball, but just out of bounds there. So, uh, as you mentioned, good field position for the Redskins to take over. So, Kashokton has it first and 10 on their own 47-yard line. 1.57 to play here in the opening quarter. 7 to nothing. Redskins out in front. Wing T formation. Rust. Speed sweep, here comes the ball to Whitus. Same play they scored on, looking, Stow looking, now cuts it up himself, but gets way up. We've got a flag comes in, usually from that side, it's gonna be a hold. And when he reversed his field, that lineman had to reshuffle, so let's see what they call. It's Cameron McCoy on the tackle for the Raiders. That's the one thing Coach Smith talked about is the penalties have really hurt this football team here in the early part of the season. That'll be a 10 yard walk off back to the 35 yard line. So it's in essence a 12 yard penalty. So I'll make it a first and 22 situation. Split to the right side, Abe Jarvis. Wing T formation as per usual. White, uh, Rolling, Russ fires, almost had it picked off, and nice attempt to dive after the ball was deflected. Goes incomplete, so that'll make it a second in 22 situation. So the last two series, the Redskins really struggling to move the football. Yeah, had some pretty good success in that first series with the sweep left and the sweep right, and uh, tried a little bit of that here, but I think Morgan maybe uh, picked up on it. Yep, 0-4 throwing the football, so they've not had a lot of success, obviously, throwing the ball. Wing T formation. Hand off to Shook up the middle. He has running room, and he's got plenty of room. He's in midfield. He's a 40. He's a 30. I don't think anybody's going to get him. He's going to take it to the house. Touchdown, Kashokton. And that's Isaac Shook, number 12. Just a trap play up the middle, and he goes all the way for the touchdown. 
Excellent run by Isaac Shook. Excellent job by the lineman creating a very nice hole. And as you mentioned, that trap, uh, a very key block there to make the trap work and excellent execution by the Redskins. Well, that's 65 yards on that touchdown and the Redskins on the board again. First carry of the night goes the distance for Isaac Shook. 13 to nothing and Brian will be on to try to add the PAT. Everybody trying to get red lined up. Now we're ready to go. There's a the snap, puts it down. Bryant's kick is up and right through. So with 129 to play here in the first quarter, Coshocton scores again. They lead it 14 to nothing. We'll be back. This is high school football on WTNS Coshocton. ITM Marketing has immediate openings for qualified individuals. They're looking to hire fun, upbeat, professional individuals for first shift inbound customer service. Requirements include excellent verbal and written communication skills, be proficient in computer keyboarding and window-based programs, have the ability to ensure professional customer service, and be able to work independently on tasks. Benefits include paid vacation, health insurance, and 401k. Base pay is $15 per hour. Please send resumes to hr at itmmarketing.com or apply online at itmmarketing.com. Life is full of uncertainties. What happens to your assets after you pass away shouldn't be one of them. At Raymond James Financial Services, we offer a transfer on death agreement that allows your estate to be held in a brokerage account, so it avoids the probate process and goes directly to your heirs. To find out how to make things easier for your loved ones, call financial advisor Shane Pyle at 622-3110, located in Coshocton. Raymond James Financial Services, member FINRA SIFIC. For the Redskins, a 38-yard touchdown run by Whitus and a 65-yard touchdown run by Shook have the Redskins out in front late in the first period, 14 to nothing. There's the kick, booming kick. Once again, that's going to go into the end zone. The ball will come out to the 20, first and 10. I'll tell you, that's a weapon when you can kick the ball deep into the end zone. Absolutely, not even returnable. That was Judah Nelson with the big kick for the Redskins, and I tell you, uh, he does it all, plays a good soccer player and also out here playing football. He certainly does. Uh, yeah, nice leg on that young man. So first and ten for the Raiders. Now down two scores at 14 to nothing. So they're going to switch sides of the field here. And we're just about ready to get things underway. Switch the hash mark. Here we go. Out of the gun. Brown, the quarterback, gets it. Hand off, trying to get wide, and he does. Bounces the outside, cuts it up, has some running room, and finally dragged down as he crossed the 25, moved it out close to the 28 or 9-yard line. Nice run by Aiden Weaver. Let's see where they mark him. Going to mark it at the 28, so that'll be a. And Jacob Lonsberry with the big tackle for the Redskins. Pick up of eight for Weaver. He has 12 yards and a couple carries. So second down, clock moving, under a minute to play here in period number one. Brown has the ball, fake, looking. Looking, throws it out in the flat. Pat, Pat passes caught at the mid uh, 30. Now bounces away from a tackler and gets out to around the 40 yard line before being brought down. Nice job of breaking a tackle and picking up good yardage out to the 40 for a pickup of 12 on the play. So, first completion of the ball game goes to Weaver and he winds his way all the way out to the 40 yard line for the first down. For third first down of the ball game for Morgan. 30 seconds to play here in the opening quarter. That was Judah Nelson with his first tackle here in the first quarter. Out of the huddle, ball sitting at the 40. Now the officials are now they're going to reset the clock to 45 seconds. Now we're ready to go. First and 10 for Morgan. Ball sitting at the 40-yard line. Gets a snap. 
Pounds it up inside to Copeland. Bounces across the 45 and out to the 47. Nice run by Copeland. Inside picks up. Well, we're going to mark it to 46 for a pickup of six on the play. Dustin Hall on the stop for the Redskins. Clock down to 20 seconds. Let's see if they run another play here in the first period. 14 to nothing. Kashokton out in front. A couple long touchdown runs have been the key in this one thus far. And it looks like they're going to let it run down. So we'll break away and be back. The score after one period of play. The score, Kashokton 14, Morgan nothing. We'll be back. This is high school football on WTNS Kashokton. The first half of tonight's game is probably being brought to you by Kashokton Recycling at the intersection of County Road 1A and Bridge Street. This is the Mouse Man from RAM Five Point Auto Sales, and we're rocking this season. We have a large selection of clean, newer vehicles to fit everyone's budget. If you drive by the Five Point Light and don't see what you're looking for, stop and let us know. We'll go find it for you. When you buy a car from RAM Five Point, we take care of your vehicle for the life of the vehicle. We'll wash your car every two weeks for as long as you own it. At RAM Five Point, 1102 Chestnut is where your driving dreams come true. To Amici's Pizza before. Individual commitment to a group effort. That is what makes a team work, a company work, a society work, a civilization work. Vince Lombardi. This is Brandon Smith from Liddy Scrapyard. Commitment is something we believe in. Commitment from our employees to our customers, schools, and community. This is why we are happy to support this high school football broadcast. For great service and current competitive pricing, give Liddy Scrapyard a call, 740-622-6220, or visit us on County Road 621, just behind ODOT at the West Edge of Canal Louisville. Quarter in the first play, a handoff and brought down quickly. Nice job by Kashok and knifing in there and getting Copeland for a one-yard loss. So third down and five situation. Good penetration by the Coshocton defense. So third and five, just underway here in the second quarter, 14 to nothing, Coshocton out in front. Out of the huddle, Copeland in the backfield alongside Levi Brown, two receivers left and right. Man in motion across the formation, rolling rights, Brown, looking pass run, he fires, it's caught, but he's gonna be short of the first down. They're gonna mark it, looks like about the 49 yard line. So the pass was complete, but only got four. So that's gonna bring up a fourth down and short situation as they got out to the 49. Jacob Lonsberry with the tackle. They're lining up quickly, Kashokton trying to get off, they do. Now they'll take a quick look at the Now we've got a timeout, I believe. Let's see what they do. It is a timeout by Morgan, their second. So we'll break away and be back. This is high school football on WTNS, Coshocton. Stop in to Amici's Pizza before or after the game for the area's best in homemade pizza, salads, subs, wings, and more. Amici's Pizza uses handmade dough made fresh every day. For all the flavor but less calories, try their cauliflower crust pizza, or other items like spaghetti and meatballs or chicken alfredo. Amici's Pizza delivers free to West Lafayette and surrounding areas. For big city taste at a small town price, it's Amici's Pizza, 740-545-1923. All right, we're back, and Morgan wanted to talk about it. They used their second timeout. Big play right here if they decide to go for it. Fourth down and one. The Raiders down 14 to nothing. See if they put big number 71, Wade Pauley, in that backfield. Yeah, they've got him up there. He'll be the lead man up there. So fourth down and one. Yeah, Wade Pauley, 6'3", 220. And he looks bigger than that. He does. So Brown will be under center. Gets a snap, a little quick pitch, see if he can get to the wing, and he's not going to get. Well, let's see. That's going to be close. See where they mark it. It looks like he's going to be short, and he is. They ran him out of bounds at the 49-yard line, so Kashankton comes up with a big stop. 
and they'll take over first and 10, actually lost a yard on the play. Yeah, very big stop for the Redskins and uh, big feat for the defense here early in the second quarter. Uh, always nice when you can have fourth and one and uh, kind of crowded the line of scrimmage and then Morgan went for that speed sweep, but Coshocton all over it. So first and 10 for the Redskins, the ball at the Morgan 48. Two good defensive stops in this ball game thus far for Coshocton. So they'll come out of the huddle. 10.35 to play in the first half. Trying to get set up as widest. Now he's in the slot. He's ready to go. There's the snap. Straight back to throw. Looking. Now he's trying to escape his rust. Rust got some running room. If he wants to take it, he does. He crosses the 40. He's now to the 35. Still got room to run at the 30. Gets a block. He's at the 20. He's at the 10. And finally run out of bounds inside the 10-yard line. What a run by the quarterback, Kobe Rust. I'll tell you, not, only, not every time switching fields like that works out, but it certainly did on that play for Kobe Rust. And uh, excellent run, excellent vision on the field. Rust coming off, uh, holding that shoulder a little bit as he lowered it. So uh, they're going to have to bring in a new quarterback as they moved it all the way down to the nine-yard line. Looks like Abe Jarvis going Abe in Abe Jarvis there. will be the quarterback. He is the backup QB. Takes off his catching gloves, and into the game he goes. So that was a 39-yard run by Rust. First down, wing T formation, under center, Jarvis. Hands the ball to Haley, speed sweep to the five, to the three, touchdown, Corbin Haley. Just a handoff, cut it back up inside and into the end zone for the touchdown. So Coshocton strikes quickly on two, uh, two quick plays. That's a nine-yard touchdown run by Haley, and the Redskins now lead it 20 to nothing. Yeah, excellent run by Corbin Haley. He's just got so much speed and powers right through that defense and right into the end zone he goes. They'll bring on the kick team. Now we're ready to go. Jarvis is the holder. And Zane Bryant will try to tack on the PAT. High snap, gets it down, kick is high enough, it's long enough, and it's good enough. So with 9.56 to play here in the first half, Coshocton has scored again. They now lead it 21 to nothing. We'll be back. This is high school football on WTNS, Coshocton. Given Dawson Paisley Funeral Home has been serving Coshocton area families for over 70 years. I'm Bill Given, and we are honored that so many of you have chosen Given Dawson Paisley. Our membership in Dignity Memorial Network allows us to offer services that no other funeral home can offer. Whether you are planning or in your time of need, Given Dawson Paisley Funeral Home would be honored to serve your family now and in the future. Fall is almost here and there is a lot to do and see at Shoemaker Farms. Stop by the farm on County Road 16 for all your fall decorating accessories like mums, pumpkins, gourds, and straw bales. Don't forget about Shoemaker Farms' delicious homemade cookies. Make plans to attend Shoemaker Farms' fall harvest days and fun on the farm every weekend in October from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. The Shoemaker Farms store is open Monday through Saturday from 9 to 6 and Sunday from 10 to 4. We're back and getting ready to kick off. Judah Nelson will be kicking. And waiting at the goal line will be the Morgan Raiders. Nelson with an excellent leg. Let's see what he does. He Now he's a little pooch kick down to the right side. Let's see if they get on it. They do. And he's brought down as he got it out to about the 39-yard line, trying to drop it in that zone. But nice job by Morgan covering it up and getting it out in decent field position out to around the 39-yard line. Jacob Lonsberry on the stop on the kickoff for the Redskins. So first and 10 for Morgan. Raiders down three scores now at 21 to nothing. See what they do offensively. They've had a difficult time running against Coshocton and have not, are two of six throwing the football for only 10 yards. There's a snap, handoff, bounces the outside, got some running room, crosses the 45 before being brought down to Copeland. So he's going to be marked at, looks like the 45. So he's going to get six on the play. Dustin Hall on the stop for the Redskins. 
Copeland 18 yards and seven carries. It'll be a second down and four situation for the Morgan Raiders. Brown taking a look at the coaching staff, trying to get the play, and they're ready to go. Under nine minutes, or no, 9.15 to play here in the first half. Brown gets a snap, a little quick pass is almost intercepted. Boy, playing that very nicely was Judah Nelson, almost stepped in front. If he makes that interception, he's got a long way to go, uncontested. Absolutely, almost had one hand on that too with the catch. So that brings up a third and four situation. Just tried a little quick out, but well read by Nelson and deflected away, so it brings up a third down situation. Copeland in the backfield, offset to the left side is nice wander. There's a snap, looking straight back to throw. Passes out in the flat and incomplete. And well, now that that ball was deflected, so that might not be. There'll be an interference call. Yeah, like you said, that looked like deflected, and by the time there was contact, I think the ball was already deflected. But yeah, but cool. they're gonna they're gonna give it to him anyway. So, so it'll be a first down. Them their fourth and second by penalty here this evening. So they'll have it at the 46-yard line. Well, wait a minute. They've not. Let's see where they put it down. They're gonna put it down at the 45 of Coshocton. So that'll have it. It'll be first and ten there. Threw it into a lot of traffic, but got the break, and it'll be first down for the Raiders. Brown, the quarterback, has trips to the right side. Nice winger in the slot, now moves across the formation. Straight back to throw is Brown. Brown looking straight down the middle. Pass is intercepted by Kashok, and stepping in front of it is going to be, looks like, is it Jarvis? There's flags all over the play after the play. Trey Cox, I believe. But freshman Trey Cox comes up with the interception. So big play by the Redskins. So the flags come in later. Yeah, Morgan pointing like they got the ball after the tackle. Not quite sure what. Not sure if it popped out. Oh. Well, it's against Kashocht and whatever it is. <laughs> but they're going to have it first and ten. The official gave his motion there, and the whole press box said, what's that? Well, he hasn't really given us given us any indication yet. So it's going to be from the 45. So that's probably a block in the back or let's see. Let's see if he makes us, gives us any kind of a signal. He's already backed him up. Well, they gaffed him up, but he never did give us a signal why. But. Simple fact is, Kashokton comes up with the interception, and they have it first and ten on their own 30-yard line. First turnover of the ball game, and that goes Kashokton's direction. So they're out in the wing tee, first and ten. Rest under center, back in the game. And all Joker crisscross to Haley. Haley runs into all kinds of traffic and is brought down. Just tried that quick crisscross, but uh, tried to cut it up inside. But a good job defensively by the Raiders and. Gets him after a one-yard pickup to the 31. Haley with five carries now for 37 yards in the football game. Second and nine. 8.25 and moving here in the first half. Nelson brings the play in. Out of the huddle come the Redskins. Wing T formation. Two split to the right side. White is in motion across. Trap play, handoff to Haley, and here's nowhere to go. He's going to be brought down for no gain on the play. So it brings up a third and nine. So good effort here thus far in this drive by Morgan. So Kashokton now forced into a passing situation. 7.45 to play here in the first half. 21 to nothing, Kashokton out in front. Jarvis brings the play in. Looked like Daniel Toki on the stop for the Raiders. 
Out of the huddle. Back to throws Russ, looking. Now he steps up. He's got some room to run. Now he throws it deep down the field. A jump ball situation and incomplete. That was one of those situations he let it go, but he had plenty of running room. He could have probably picked up that first down if he had just kept it. But he goes incomplete, so that will be a fourth down punting situation. Redskins one of three throwing the football today for 20 yards. So the Redskins will have to punt. And Lonsbury be on to do the kicking. Two receivers back deep, four with the Raiders. High snap, but Lonsbury has it. Kicks away, high, booming kick. They run up and try to catch it, and they do. And they'll have it first and 10 at the, the Morgan Raiders. That was one of those situations. They didn't want to let it bounce. The nice job by uh, fielding the punt, and they'll have it first and 10 out at around the 47-yard line. So good field position for the Raiders. When your family is ready to find a different home, call Christina Humphreys or Sharon Hosfeld at Century 21 Court Square Realty. They are located at 404 Main Street in Coshocton. That phone number for Century 21 Court Square Realty is 740-622-3731. First and 10 for the Raiders at their own 47-yard line, 7.06 to play here in the opening half. Brown gets the snap, hands it to Copeland, powers it up inside into a host of people who pushed it out close to the midfield stripe. They're going to mark it at the 49. So he got two on the play. Makes it a second and eight situation. Isaac Shook with the stop for the Redskins. Copeland's been uh, handled the majority of the carries. He has eight carries, but only 20 yards rushing. Second and eight for the Raiders. Brown steps back, takes a look at the coaching staff to get the signal. Back to throw, looking, looking. Now he throws a screen pass out into the flat. He's got some running rooms, got the first down, and finally uh, ball's loose but out of bounds, but a good play. Picked up good yardage down to around the 39-yard line. Pass play covers 12 yards for the first down. Trey Cox on the stop for the Redskins. Fifth first down of the ball game for the Raiders. So the ball at the 39, first and 10. Clock moving as we approach six minutes here in the first half. Brown rushes to the line of scrimmage, but then they'll back out and take a look at the coaching staff to get the call. Now we're ready to go. Under six minutes to play here in the first half. There's a handoff Copeland inside. He's got some good running room. Crosses the 40 down to around the 35-yard line. So that'll be a pickup of four for Copeland as he just keeps pounding it inside. Well, let's see. They're going to actually mark it at the 36-yard line. So make it a second and seven situation. Corbin Haley in on the tackle for the Redskins. Second and seven. 21 nothing. Coshocton leading. 5.20 to play here in the first half. Once again, high formation. Once again, Copeland, no, a little screen pass out in the flat, and he holds on to a nice closing tackle by Coshocton as he moved it down around the 30, but bobbled it or might have had more yardage out of that. And Judah Nelson with a nice tackle for the Redskins. Got it down to the 31, that pass play good for five yards. So it brings up a third and two situation. Third and two. Under five minutes to play here in the first half. Morgan. Out. Hand off. Copeland again has some running room. He looks like he's got the first down, but he stacked up as he got down to around the 28-yard line. That he needed the 29. So they're going to mark it. It looks like the 28. So that's going to be a pickup of three. And the sixth first down here in the first half for the Morgan Raiders. So first and ten, the ball sitting at the 28-yard line of the Redskins. Now 
Now they're getting out of the huddle. Still plenty of time on the play clock. Man in motion across the formation. Brown gets the snap. Powers it up inside once again. Not a lot of running room. He's pushed back as he got maybe the 26 yard line. Got two on the play. Isaac Le Shook on the stop for the Redskins. 11 carries, 29 yards here. Good job defensively by the Redskins. Is that well, maybe you only just, maybe, we'll give him a two yards on the play. The ball's actually marked it to 27. So that makes it a second and a long eight. Clock under four minutes here in the first half. Brown brings them out. Trying to push it down. Now Brown rolls to the right side. Pass run, crows across the middle, passes caught. Ball, he is hammered, and that's how they're going to call. Uh, this might be one of those, we watch it in the college and the pros, these targeting things, but uh, he went down hard, incomplete, but. Yeah, receiver number two, Coleman Welsh. God, and he got he, hammered. He got laid out to say the least. So it'll be, we'll wait and see what the call is. Probably gonna be a roughness penalty would be my guess. I'm gonna call targeting. Said he led with his helmet. I. We'd have to see that one again, but that, um, too far for us to tell for sure. Yeah, I watched the replay on our Facebook page there, and it didn't look like it was, uh, didn't look too bad there, but definitely a nice hit. So they'll get another first down, third by penalty, seventh here in the first half, and that moves the ball down to the 14-yard line. So first and 10 for the Morgan Raiders. Long drive here late in the first half. There's a snap, handoff Copeland trying to bounce it outside and he's not gonna get much and he's gonna be brought down for a loss on the play. Tried to string it out, but Kashokton speed just too much, got to him and dropped him back around the 15 yard line. Maybe the 16, let's see where they put it down. They're gonna put it down at the 16, so a loss of two on the play for Copeland. Trey Cox on the stop for the Redskins. So it brings up a second and long situation. Under three minutes now to play here in the first half. Out of the huddle come the Raiders. They're going to be receiver split wide right, one left. Copeland in the backfield. Brown straight back to throw. In trouble, trying to get away, and he's not going to get there. He's going to be dropped for a loss on the play. Back to around the 17 or 18 yard line. Landon Wentz on the big tackle for the Redskins. So they're gonna mark him at the 18, so a loss of two on the play for Brown, the quarterback. And that'll bring up a third down in about 15. Two minutes and 10 seconds and moving here. It's Kashokton trying to get a stop here late in the first half. And now we've got a timeout by Morgan, so we'll break away and be back. This is high school football on WTNS, Coshocton. Coshocton Regional Medical Center has been proudly recognized as a 2021 Top 100 Hospital in the Nation by Fortune and IBM Watson Health. This distinction demonstrates our ongoing commitment to patient-centered care right here in Coshocton. With over 6,000 hospitals in the nation, we are proud of our employees and staff whose hard work and dedication to our patients made us a top 100 hospital. Coshocton Regional Medical Center, where care matters most. Third down situation and 14 to go for Morgan. They called the timeout trying to draw something up here late in the first half. They do have a kicker, uh, Chris and I watched earlier, that he was banging them from long range, so he's got the leg for it from this distance. Yeah, sure does. Uh, you know, under two minutes left. Might be your last uh, series of the half and want to put some points on the board. So wonder what they're going to draw up on the next two plays. 
where Al Stakenstein is proud to sponsor tonight's Player of the Game. Tonight's Player of the Game will receive a gift certificate for a famous Warehouse cheeseburger and order their legendary onion rings. This is courtesy of Warehouse Stakenstein in Roscoe Village. Now back and ready to go. Morgan out and ready with the Copeland in the backfield behind Brown. Third down and 14. There's the snap, straight back to throws Brown, looking deep into the corner of the end zone. It's going to be short, and it'll be a fourth down situation. Try a little curl pattern coming back, and pass was underthrown, so it's a fourth down situation. And 14, let's see what they do here. It looks like they're going to try to go for it. So fourth and 14. I'm sure the defensive backs want to keep everything in front of them here at this stage. 2.01 to play here in the first half. Now we have a reset the clock to. Looks like just reset the play clock. Maybe that's what they wanted to do. Okay. Well, now he's. Now we're ready to go, I think. So fourth down, they're going to go for it. Trips to the right side. Now Brown rolling to the right side is in trouble. Ludes one tackler, now throws it into the end zone. Incomplete. And Kashokton is held, and they'll take over on downs. Yeah, the quarterback had an open receiver there, kind of waited for him to go towards the end zone and almost had two hands on it and just couldn't bring it down. So Kashokton will have it here with 153 to play. Probably won't see a whole lot going on here. The Skins have it at their, looks like their own 16 yard line. So first and 10, 153 to play here in the first half, 21 nothing Redskins out in front. In standard wing T formation, this time Kobe Rust under center. Gets the snap, handoff shook right up the middle, just Takes people out to about the 20 yard line, picks up four. So Isaac Shook on the ball carrier, the ball carrier. Morgan out of timeout, so they can't stop the clock. Isaac Shook, two carries, 69 yards. Now out of the gun, straight back, now rolling to the right side, pass a run, throws a pass and is caught. Nice pet catch down around the 32 or three yard line. It'll be enough for the first down. Good throw by Russ, good catch. Yeah, it almost looked like it was intended for the first receiver and kind of went a little bit over yeah, his head, yeah. but Corbin Haley in right place, right time with a nice catch. So that's 16 yards on that play. 36 yards passing thus far here in the first half. Sixth first down for Kashokton. Out of the huddle, clock stopped with 126 to go. Redskins, I believe, have all their timeouts. Out of, the, out of the huddle once again. Handoff, speed sweep to Haley, cuts it up inside, has some running room, bounces to across the 35, go out to around the 36 yard line. Let's see if they just go quick or use a timeout. They're gonna go quick. They're gonna mark it at the 36. So Haley gets four on the carry. Now they're taking a quick look, trying to get things organized. Clock approaching one minute here in the first half. Straight back to throws quarterback Russ. Looking, now in trouble, now Rule goes out. Pass a run, uh, flags everywhere. He's just gonna keep it and be brought down. And probably be a hold as multiple flags came out at around the 42 or three yard line. 52 seconds to play here in the first half. Penalties have been a problem for the Redskins here this evening. That's another holding penalty, and they'll probably take it. Fourth penalty of the ball game for Kashokton for 52 yards, so they've had some penalties. Ball's moved back to the 24-yard line. So it'll be a second down, and looks like about 23. Trips to the right side, Russ the quarterback, Clock moving with 50 seconds to play in the first half. Now he's going to keep it himself. Bounces it outside, and it's going to be dragged down. Nice defensive effort there as he got maybe a yard. Gerald Hill on the stop for the Raiders. So that brings up a third down situation with 30 seconds to go, and Kashokton wants a timeout. So we'll 
break away and be right back. This is High School Football on WTNS, Coshocton. See Appearance Supply, Glass and Paint, your window tinting specialist for Johnson's window tinting for residential and vehicles. Johnson's window tints are designed for style, protection, and heat reduction, and they have a lifetime warranty. And right now at Appearance Supply, Glass and Paint, you can save 10% on Johnson's window tinting. Remember Appearance Supply Glass and Paint for auto glass, including windshields, residential, and commercial glass, and they stock PPG automotive paint and supplies. That's Appearance Supply Glass and Paint, 115 Bridge Street, Coshocton. We're back, and Coshocton comes out of the huddle. They have a third down situation, and looks like 17 to go for a first down. In this stage of the under these circumstances, might just be just about as wise just to hand it off and get into the locker room with this 21 nothing lead and not do anything, put you in any jeopardy. Yeah, I don't want to have a costly mistake here this late in the second half. So out of the huddle, now we've got another timeout as Coach Smith obviously didn't like the alignment, so we're going to look at it again. So we'll break away again. This is high school football in WTNS, Coshocton. Bad hair day? Bad day at the office? Bad day behind the wheel? Hey, stuff happens, even to the best of us. At least your car insurance rate doesn't have to take a hit. Get Erie Rate Lock from Erie Insurance. Gives you a great rate that stays put until you change a car, driver, or your address. Plus, seriously good service. Now that's something to smile about. Your local Erie agent in Coshocton is Albertson Lawrence Agency. Get a quote at 740-622-0572. Very rate lock does not guarantee continued insurance coverage and is not available in all states. Well, the Redskins have heading back to the field. They've had another conversation and looks like they are coming out in the standard wing T formation. Rust looks like he'll be under center. He will be. So just a standard formation for the Redskins. Man in motion. Speed sweep getting to the outside. Haley, Haley cuts it up inside. He's got good speed. If he can get down that sideline, he picked up the first down, I believe, before being bumped out of bounds. They got it all the way out to the 41-yard line. So a 16-yard run by Corbin Haley. So he's up to 57 yards rushing here in the first half. So ball's at the 41-yard line with 23 seconds to go, and they got the first down. Their seventh here in the first half. Now let's see what they try to do here. Shooks in the backfield alongside Rust. They have one timeout remaining. See if they go, they'll try to throw it. Looking, looking, he's in trouble and he's gonna be brought down at about the 439 yard line. He's gonna be dropped for a two yard loss. So the clock will continue to move and it's down to six and I think they're just gonna let it run out and that's gonna be it for the first half. But a good first half for the Redskins. They lead at halftime by a score of 21 to nothing. We'll be back with a halftime report. This is High School Football on WTNS, Coshocton. The first half of tonight's game is probably being brought to you by Coshocton Recycling at the intersection of County Road 1A and Bridge Street. Hi. I'm Phil Hunt from the Home Loan Savings Bank. The pace of business is faster than ever. That's why when you need a business loan, you want a bank that can act fast. Not only do you get great rates and fast answers, you get the financial advice you need to keep your business growing. It's a better way to borrow. Stop by and let's talk. The Home Loan Savings Bank, a better way to bank. Member FDIC. Visit us at homeloansavingsbank.com. Buckeye Beverage Barn in West Lafayette has carry-out salads, pizza, calzones, and their new wings. Place your orders at 545-9525. Buckeye Beverage Barn has the area's best selection of cold drinks and hot food with all the convenience of their drive through See them for snacks, bagged ice, salads, and delicious pizza. Order yours tonight at 545-9525. Drive through and see them seven days a week at the Buckeye Beverage Barn on Main Street in West Lafayette. Petticord Rice Auction Realty is a full-service auction and real estate company. Whether on-site or online auctions, their auction staff handles every aspect of your auction, from setup to completion. And for real estate, they walk you through all the necessary steps of buying or selling your property. 
They would love the opportunity to serve you. For appointments and free consultations, call 740-622-3111 or visit their website. At Petticord Rice Auction Realty, they don't just list homes, they sell them. I'm Malcolm. I'm a commercial cash management specialist, but I'm also a leader and a musician. At Park National Bank, we're more than our job titles, and you're more than an account number. You get personal attention and direct access to a caring, compassionate banker who respects and responds to your needs and goals. Find Malcolm or a banker near you at parknationalbank.com. Park National Bank, where you mean more. Member FDIC, parknationalbank.com. Did you know Wits of Coshocton has lunch specials for under $5? Enjoy a delicious footlong coney, bag of chips, and a 20-ounce drink for only $3.50. We also offer shredded chicken, barbecue pulled pork, or chicken salad sandwich for only $3 each. Check every Monday for the new weekly specials as well as the custard flavor of the week. Wits Frozen Custard is open Monday through Saturday 11 to 7 and Sunday 12 to 7. Configuring the Bluetooth. Deciding who controls the music. Remembering where you parked. Why are simple things sometimes so complicated? Thankfully, with an auto owner's insurance independent agent, getting the right coverage for your vehicle doesn't have to be one of them. So you can get back to more important things, like remembering if you're on the third or fourth level of the parking garage. That's simple human sense. Visit me, Clint Pushcarriage, at the Jacobs Vanneman Agency in Coshocton, or give us a call at 740-622-1796. Individual commitment to a group effort. That is what makes a team work, a company work, a society work, a civilization work. Vince Lombardi. This is Brandon Smith from Liddy Scrapyard. Commitment is something we believe in. Commitment from our employees to our customers, schools, and community. This is why we are happy to support this high school football broadcast. For great service and current competitive pricing, give Liddy Scrapyard a call. 740-622-6220. Or visit us on County Road 621, just behind ODOT at the West Edge of Canal Louisville. Way to split wide right. Haley offset to the left side behind the quarterback rush. White is in motion, gets a handoff and a speed sweep. Goes wide, cuts it up inside the 30. He's the 25, the 20, the 15, the 10, 5, touchdown, Coshocton. And they waste no time as Caden White is on the inside handoff, gets it at the 38, no flags, touchdown, Redskins. They added the point after touchdown. That made the score 7 to nothing. Stayed that way to 129 to go in the first quarter when Coshocton scored on this play. Hand off to Shook up the middle. He has running room, and he's got plenty of room. He's the midfield. He's a 40. He's a 30. I don't think anybody's going to get him. He's going to take it to the house. Touchdown, Coshocton. And that's Isaac Shook, number 12. Just a trap play up the middle, and he goes all the way for the touchdown. Once again, Zane Bryant added the PAT. Coshocton led at the end of the first period by a score of 14 to nothing. The Redskins weren't done yet with 9.56 to play in the first half. They scored on this play. Wing T formation under center. Jarvis hands the ball to Haley. Speed sweep to the five, to the three. Touchdown, Corbin Haley. Just a handoff, cut it back up inside and into the end zone for the touchdown. So after that score, they added the PAT once again. That's where we are at halftime. The score is 21 to nothing. The Extreme first half highlights have been brought to you by Extreme Rental Purchase, located across the field in the downtown or plaza. We'll be back and get to the numbers in a bit. This is high school football on WTNS, Coshocton. Colonial Sports and Courts has been Coshocton's go-to fitness center since 1982. If you've never been to Sports and Courts, stop by and see what they have to offer. You can take advantage of a membership or a daily rate to use all their amenities. Sports and Courts offers silver sneakers, which you can use as a free membership. They have enough free weights and machines to reach all your fitness goals, racquetball courts, indoor basketball court, pool table, massage chair, and rooms available to rent. Also, if you're a personal trainer or fitness instructor, Colonial Sports and Courts is looking for you. For more information, stop by 1101 Ferry Falls Drive or call 740-623-8382.
Don't let their name fool you. At Kashat and Brake and Supply, they do a whole lot more than just brakes. They do alignments and suspension work, offer engine diagnostics, oil changes and tune-ups, and air conditioning service. And don't forget about their free nationwide auto repair warranty. But it doesn't stop there. Kashat and Brake and Supply also offers new hydraulic hoses and fittings and hydraulic hose repairs. That's Kashat and Brake and Supply, located at 601 Walnut Street, or call them at 740-622-0590. Claxon Custom Printing and Promotions is a proud supporter of high school athletics. Contact Casey Claxon or Judd Bone at klaxonprinting.com for printed t-shirts, embroidery, and branded promotional products for your booster club or business. We can also help your team set up an online fundraising store to sell your team apparel to fans across the country. Visit klaxonprinting.com or call 740-623-2145. Do you need a new or newer vehicle? Hi, I'm Jeff Drennan, and we are here to help in both sales and service. At my dealerships in Coshocton and Zanesville, we work hard to get you the best car deal possible, including during the current conditions in the car industry. Or if you want to sell your vehicle and it has under 100,000 miles, just stop in and see us and let us make you an offer. Stop in today at Jeff Drennan's Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram of Coshocton, Jeff Drennan Ford, or Jeff Drennan's GM Superstore in Zanesville. And always remember, when you're thinking of buying a new car, it's time to talk to Jeff. Everyone at Reed Family Dental is proud to sponsor this high school sports broadcast. Our goal at Reed Family Dental is to create an environment where patients feel comfortable, know that their concerns are being heard, and trust they're receiving quality care. Our office is located at 229 South 4th Street in Coshocton. To schedule an appointment, please call us at 740-622-5695. Be sure to visit our website at rfdcoshocton.com and follow us on Facebook and Instagram. We hope to see you soon. Lemonade Properties is a locally owned company that invests in local real estate. We buy, sell, rent, and renovate properties across all of Coshocton County. We use local contractors, local businesses, and hire local people. If you have a property to sell, don't let an out-of-town investor buy it who isn't committed to our town, our communities, and our neighborhoods. Call us first at 740-502-1881. Check us out on Facebook for current and future projects. Let us take your lemon and make lemonade. Lemonade Properties, fresh creations for the modern home. Coshocton Recycling, located at the intersection of County Road 1A and Bridge Street, has been family-owned and operated since 1985, making them the oldest scrapyard in Coshocton County still in operation. Coshocton Recycling accepts all types of scrap metal, including vehicles. If you're looking to recycle your scrap metal the easy way, with the best prices, stop by Coshocton Recycling. They are open Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 4.15 or give them a call at 740-622-6276. If you own a farm, you know that a one-size-fits-all insurance policy isn't a smart way to do business. I'm John Ionello, your American National Insurance Agent in Coshocton, Holmes, and surrounding counties. American National can provide you with a flexible farm package that allows you to customize a policy to match your individual needs. Call me at 740-295-9460 because while you know your business, we know how to help in time here at Coshocton. The Redskins out in front on homecoming night by a score of 21 to nothing. I want to talk a little bit about the uh, the festivities that happened uh, in the pregame show. Um, the five uh, la young ladies that were on the court were Ella Bible, Olivia Blust, Sidney Diostroff, Savannah Jennings and Keely Murray. And the queen for this year is Olivia Bluss. So congratulations to Olivia. She is the 2000, the 2021 homecoming queen at Coshocton High School. We'll be back and try to run down a few scores for you. This is high school football on WTNS Coshocton. Welcome back, high school football fans. There is nothing like the sights and sounds of Friday night football under the lights. Here at Extreme Little Purchase, we are your hometown team with all the MVP products. You'll be jumping off sides to relax on our many Ashley Furniture sofa loves and bedroom sets. Catch your fantasy team picks on one of our 65 to 82 inch LG TVs. Try stopping a blitz to the fridge with our full line of Crossley and Frigidaire appliances. 
Our all-star team is here to help without hesitating so you can score your extreme touchdown savings. Extreme Little Purchase, downtown or plaza, Coshocton, and Worcester. Extremely gratifying, extremely satisfying. Keep your vehicle on the road with new tires or mechanical work from Shriver Tire Service. Shriver Tire offers new tires for passenger, truck, and farm vehicles as well as light mechanical work. Custom wheels are now available as well as financing. Shriver Tire is now an authorized dealer for Falcon Tires. For more information, stop by 2171 Otsego Avenue or give them a call at 622-6989. This is Randy Jacobs from DAC Vitamins and Minerals. We've been feeding champion show animals since 1983, bringing you the best in supplements for your horses and livestock to help them look and perform their best. Whether in a show ring, pulling a plow, your buggy, or just pets in the field, they can look and feel their best with DAC. Find a dealer near you at FeedDAC.com or call the office at 800-921-9121 and talk to Trapper Troyer for details. And always remember to feed DAC. If you're a business or do-it-yourselfer looking for the best possible siding for your home or office, then stop by MRV Siding Supply. They offer the number one rated panel on the market, Cedar Max Super Polymer Insulated Siding by Provia. Cedar Max provides outstanding performance inside and out with impact resistance, impervious to moisture, flame retardant, and noise reduction, giving you peace of mind. For Cedar Max Super Polymer Insulated Siding by Provia, Call MRV Siding Supply at 800-524-7436. Visit them on the web at mrvsiding.com. This is Chad from the Power Shop. When you buy a mower, blower, trimmer, or chainsaw, think about service. Here at the Power Shop, we are an authorized full servicing dealer for our Husqvarna power equipment. We will be here for many years with genuine Husqvarna parts and warranty service too. So when you are looking for power equipment, look at Husqvarna from the Power Shop, County Road 9 between West Lafayette and Newcomerstown, or give us a call at 740-545-9011. See the Power Shop for Mantis Tillers and Honda Power Equipment too. Are you concerned about the economy, interest rates, or current market conditions? For timely information based on award-winning research, call Raymond James Financial Advisor Shane Pyle at 622-3110. Shane can discuss your specific needs and provide you with investment choices that make sense for you. Call Shane Pyle at 622-3110 in Coshocton for an appointment. Raymond James Financial Services, member FINRA SIPC. Life well planned. Uh, just give you a couple scores here that we've got. We haven't got a lot in as of yet. Um, at uh, Riverview, at, or at Philo, actually, Riverview and Philo at the end of the first period are 0-0. Akron East and Dover are tied 14-14. to That game's at halftime. Also at halftime score, Tusky Central Catholic is out in front of – or actually, that's, that's flipped. Garraway is out in front of uh, Tusky Central Catholic by a score of 42 to nothing. Also a game of interest, uh, Zanesville and Fort Fry, two really good football teams. Zanesville has a 7 to nothing lead at halftime. And in a game uh, for uh, uh, Region 15, which is an important game, um, is uh, Cincinnati Moeller is playing Ironton tonight, and Moeller is out in front of Ironton at halftime by a score of 14 to nothing. We'll be back and get to the numbers in a minute. This is High School Football on WTNS Coshocton. It's time to be thinking about those concrete projects. Coshocton Materials offers ready-mix concrete, precast blocks, and a variety of mason and concrete products. Located on County Road 621 in Coshocton, call today for prices and delivery options at 740-722-9015. That's 740-722-9015. Hi, this is Lenny Fowler. If your barber has reduced hours or is no longer in business, I'd like to invite you to Lenny's Barbershop, where we specialize in traditional barbershop services, like men and boys haircuts in the latest styles, hot lather shaves, and straight razors around the neck, and a clean, modern, and family-friendly atmosphere. Appointments are recommended, but walk-ins are also welcome. Young or old, old friends or new, all are welcome at Lenny's Barbershop, located on South 2nd Street behind the bowling alley. Call us at 740-622-4947. Stop by Dunkin' Donuts in Coshocton for a refreshing iced coffee, iced tea, or Dunkin' Refresher. Pair it with a freshly made donut 
bagel, or muffin. Dunkin' Donuts also has a large menu full of breakfast sandwiches, wraps, and snacks. Check out these new items at Dunkin' Donuts. Pumpkin Spice Signature Latte and Pumpkin Muffins. Stop by your local Dunkin' Donuts in Coshocton at 233 South 2nd Street. Open daily from 5 a.m. to 8 p.m. The longest wedding veil measured 11,017 feet. Wow, that's over two miles. At Dean's Jewelry, we say forget the veil and make a statement on your wedding day with beautiful jewelry instead. With our Something Borrowed program, when you buy your engagement ring and wedding bands at Dean's, we'll let you borrow any piece of jewelry from our store to wear on your wedding day, free of charge. Set a style record and say I do with Dean's Jewelry, Coshocton and Mount Vernon. Let Domino's cook dinner for you. All day, every day, get a large three-topping pizza and now our handmade pan pizza with three toppings, two layers of cheese on a crispy golden crust for only $7.99. Carry out only. Don't miss out on this great limited time offer. Call us in Geshockton at 622-9345 or in Newcomerstown at 498-4131. Christy Olinger of Olinger & Company Realty, your locally owned and operated boutique brokerage, is now open at her new location, 687 Hill Street in historic Roscoe Village. Local serving local, Christy loves selling real estate and will take care of you from start to finish. She has 19 years of experience to help you find the property you've always wanted. Call Christy Olinger of Olinger & Company Realty at 740-202-0150. Bad hair day? Bad day at the office? Bad day behind the wheel? Hey, stuff happens, even to the best of us. At least your car insurance rate doesn't have to take a hit. Get Erie Rate Lock from Erie Insurance. Gives you a great rate that stays put until you change a car, driver, or your address. Plus, seriously good service. Now that's something to smile about. Your local Erie agent in Coshocton is Albertson Lawrence Agency. Get a quote at 740-622-0572. Very rate lock does not guarantee continued insurance coverage and is not available in all states. Numbers for Morgan. Uh, they had 47 rushing yards in the first half. They threw the ball 11 times, completed four for 27 yards. So only 74 total yards for Morgan in the first half. They had seven first downs, four coming by Coshocton penalties. They, they themselves only had one penalty for five yards. They did have a turnover in the first half. For Coshocton, rushing yards, 218 rushing yards for the Redskins. They were led in rushing by Isaac Shook. Shook was with 69 yards on two carries and has a touchdown to his credit. Also, uh, uh, Corbin Haley picked up 57 yards on eight carries. Caden White has had uh, one carry for 38 yards, and he had a touchdown. Kobe Rust added a number, another 47 yards to the rushing total for the Redskins. They were two of five throwing the football for 36 yards. So a total to, uh, yardage in the first half, 254 yards for the Redskins. They had seven first downs in the ball game. They, they did have five penalties for 60 yards and did not turn over the football in the first half. Now uh, taking a look at the defensive numbers, Here's Chris Wallace. Thank you very much, Coos. First half defensive numbers leading the way in tackles is Corbin Haley and Dustin Hall, both with four tackles in the first half. Three tackles is Jacob Lonsberry. And with two tackles is Judah Nelson, Trey Cox, Isaac Shook, and Landon Wentz. And with one tackle, we have Connor Cox. Taking a look at the Morgan Raiders with two tackles, we've got Logan Nicewanger, Daniel Toki, Cameron McCoy, Wade Pulley and Gerald Hill. And with one tackle apiece, Coleman Welsh, uh, Aiden Weaver, and Zane Lloyd. Third down conversions, Coshocton, one for four. Morgan, three for eight. All right, well, good first half for the Redskins. Lead at 21 to nothing. Really the big plays were the key in that first half. Yeah, they certainly were. Coshocton really spreading the field there on that first series. Sweep right and then touchdown on the sweep left. So very good there. And Morgan kind of figured a little bit out and kind of stopping those ends there. And then Coshocton had some good luck with their trap and, and a few uh, inside runs. And, yeah, they really uh, kind of figured out what was working well for them. So we'll see what adjustments were made here at halftime. It'll be interesting to see what uh, Morgan does. Uh, they, they, they didn't have a whole lot of 
of success throwing the football in the first half. They did throw it 11 times, completed four, but really didn't have a lot of luck going down the field with it. And Coshocton's really done a nice job defensively bottling up the, the inside running game. Yeah, they certainly have, as you mentioned, not much success with that uh, passing game there. But late towards the second half, later in the second half, excuse me, they uh, really started to get a little momentum and started to move the ball and, and were making a few more tackles on defense. So uh, first quarter kind of slow a little bit for Morgan, but really picked things up in the second quarter. All right, that's the halftime report. We're at halftime. Coshocton out in front 21 to nothing. We'll be back with the second half. This is high school football on WTNS Coshocton. The Home Loan Savings Bank is proud to sponsor the third quarter of tonight's game. The Home Loan Savings Bank offers a wide range of services, including their totally free 360-degree checking. Call 740-622-0444 to learn more. Coshocton Regional Medical Center has been proudly recognized as a 2021 Top 100 Hospital in the Nation by Fortune and IBM Watson Health. This distinction demonstrates our ongoing commitment to patient-centered care right here in Coshocton. With over 6,000 hospitals in the nation, we are proud of our employees and staff whose hard work and dedication to our patients made us a top 100 hospital. Coshocton Regional Medical Center, where care matters most. The Dairy Hut on Main Street in West Lafayette has the area's best sandwiches and burgers, ice cream, and fried favorites. Stop by and try their delicious food like the Kraken Burger, four pounds in all. They have the best in cold treats and good eats plus low discount prices. Don't wait in line. Call in your order at 545-7579 and use their convenient drive through to pick it up. The Dairy Hut is open Monday through Thursday from 10 to 8, Friday and Saturday from 10 to 9, and Sunday from 11 to 8. This is the Mouse Man from RAM Five Point Auto Sales, and we're rocking this season. We have a large selection of clean, newer vehicles to fit everyone's budget. If you drive by the Five Point Light and don't see what you're looking for, stop and let us know. We'll go find it for you. When you buy a car from RAM Five Point, we take care of your vehicle for the life of the vehicle. We'll wash your car every two weeks for as long as you own it. At RAM Five Point, 1102 Chestnut is where your driving dreams come true. In life, you get what you pay for, and you always look to save a little extra cash. But when it comes to your car, do you really want to cut corners? Or do you want to make sure, in the event of an accident, you get your vehicle fixed the right way? Brillhart's Body Shop will give you the quality, attention to detail, and satisfaction you deserve when getting your vehicle fixed. Give Brillhart's Body Shop a call at 740-622-0121 or stop by 622 Main Street in Coshocton. At Village Motors, we take great pride in our product, and we have two new models in stock that we're very excited about. Hi, this is Deke Miller, and the full-size Ford Bronco has finally arrived. It is built Ford tough, and it just screams Bronco when you look at it. The Jeep Wrangler will now have a great competitor for years to come. It is the real deal, and you need to see it and drive it for yourself. Also, the Grand Cherokee Extended Length L model has arrived. The first third seat option for the Grand Cherokee, it combines luxury and off-road capability with the ability to carry seven passengers. Stop out soon to see the Bronco and the Grand Cherokee L at Village Motors in Millersburg. To the Coshocton Band at the homecoming halftime performance, you can just check out the WTNS Facebook and watch it there. All right, we are getting ready to start the second half. Uh, Coshocton will be kicking off to Morgan. Judah Nelson will be doing the honors and a good first half for the Redskins, and let's see what happens here on homecoming in the second half. Did have a couple scores uh, pop up. Uh, Malvern was leading Sandy Valley 16 to 10, and also John Glenn over Sheridan 35 to nothing, which is a surprise. There's the kick, high end over end kick. It's going to come down and. Just barely get into the end zone. They let it bounce and just cross the goal line. So Morgan will start first and 10 from their 20-yard line. Yeah, that was a, a big kick there. And there was a few big hits on, out there on the field. I was kind of watched, knew where the football was going to the end zone, watched a few players out there, and there was a few pancakes. A couple of players slow to get up. I guess it's, it's been a physical ball game, no question about it. So let's see what Morgan can do here as we start the second half. 21 to nothing, Redskins out in front. 
Once again, they'll run out of the eye to start the second half. Copeland will be in the backfield behind the quarterback, Levi Brown. Two receivers split right. Quick pitch goes to the right side, cuts it up inside. Pound runs into a bunch of people, crosses the 25, gets out to close to the 26-yard line for a pickup of six yards on the play. So it'll be a second and four situation for Morgan. Copeland in the ball game's carried it 13 times tonight, good for 33 yards. Just about two and a half yards per carry, so Coshocton's done a good job stopping that running game at least to this point. Once again, I formation gets the snap. Once again, hands to Copeland, tries to bounce it outside, runs into a host of people, and just short of the first downs, he's brought down around the 29-yard line. So that'll be a pickup of three on the play, makes it a third and one situation. Landon Wentz on the stop for the Redskins. Third and one for the Raiders. 21 to nothing here and just getting underway in the third period. Out of the huddle come, come the Raiders. Copeland in the backfield behind the quarterback, Levi Brown. Man in motion across the formation. Once again, handoff, pounds his way, and I guess get enough for the first down. Got two out to the 31. So first down number eight in the ball game for Morgan and a two-yard pickup of the first three carries go to Copeland to start the second half. So new set of downs for the Raiders. Ball just barely across the 30, so we'll give it to 31. First and 10. Out of the huddle once again. Two receivers right, one left. Copeland once again behind the quarterback, Brown. Brown fakes, a little out pattern, and he's going to be hit immediately. They just tried a quick out, but well read by the Coshocton defense, and they throw him for a five-yard loss back to the 26-yard line. Yeah, it was Kobe Rust with the big tackle for the Redskins, and nothing doing on that play for the Raiders. So that makes it a second and 15 situation. See, well, it looks like they're going to – now it's at the 27-yard line, so it'll be a second and 14 situation. Second and 14 out of the huddle once again. I formation, two or split right. In the slot is nice Wagner. Quick pitch, Copeland trying to get outside, has some running room, bounces off a couple tacklers, is stacked up as he crosses the 30 and pushes out to about the 34-yard line. A pickup of seven on the... Quick pitch. Brings up a third down and oh, looks to be about seven. It's a ball sitting at the 34-yard line. Third down and seven for the Raiders. Clock moving, 9-10 to play here in the third period. Once again, third down situation. Two left, two right. Copeland in the backfield. Brown taking a look at the... The defense, now he switches Copeland over to the right side. Back to throw, looking, looking. Now he throws it out into the flat, has a receiver. And they're going to say he was out of bounds when he caught it. It'll be incomplete, forcing a fourth down situation. Ran a nice route, pass was just a little tall, and the receiver not able to get those feet down in time. So they'll have to bring out the punting unit. Shockton will send Whitus and Haley back deep. So with 8.51 to play here in the third period, Coshocton is held and will force a punt, or at least we presume it'll be a punt. Still talking about it, making sure they have enough players. Still plenty of time on the play clock. I think, I think they need another player. Now they break it out. Play clock down to six. They're going to have to go here. They do get it away. Kicks a booming spiral, sending Whitus back, still drifting over his head. Ball bounces, and Whitus picks it up at the five-yard line. Let's see what he does with it. He's not going to do much. Good coverage by Morgan. A booming punt from the 34 all the way down. They finally covered it at the eight-yard line. 58 yards on that punt. So a beautiful punt by Morgan. Pins shocked and deep. They'll have the football with 8.46 to play here in 
the third period. I tell you, a booming punt is an understatement on that one, Coos, and a nice spiral at that, and uh, nice, nice uh, tackle coverage as well. Richard Page on the stop for the Raiders. Well, we, you mentioned it earlier. He had a couple booming punts in the first half. The only problem was they were angled to the you know the sidelines, and uh, th this time he kept it in the field of play. Wing T formation for the Redskins. Rest the quarterback. Hands the ball to Shook, powers it up inside, keeps those feet moving, drives the ball's loose. Let's see what happens. Morgan says they've got it. And they're going to say Kashokton got back on top of it, so the ball Shook lost control of it. But the ball is pushed out to the 11-yard line. So they go from the 6 to the 11. That's a pickup of 5 for Isaac Shook. 74 yards rushing and three carries. Makes it a second down and five situation. Out of the huddle. Ball sitting at the 11. Second and five. Full. Taking a look. In motion. Speed sweep. Gives the ball to Haley. He's got the corner. There's going to be another penalty. And Haley's going to pick up big yardage. But it's all going to come back as they're through the flag. And it's going to be another and Coach Smith is yelling at the, one of the linemen, but it's going to come back, so it'll be a second down and probably half the distance, so it'll be second and about 10. Let's see where they mark it. Yeah, just unfortunate when you get such a nice play like that and just a little holding there on the offense. It's been a problem tonight. That's been um, sixth penalty in the ball game for Kishokton. They're going to mark it at the five as we – Kind of thought they would. So that'll make it a second down and 11 situation. Clock under eight minutes to go here in the third quarter. Out of the huddle once again. Wing T formation. Rust under center. Hands to Shook inside. Powers his way out to about the 10-yard line. Picks up good yardage on the play. Picks up five. Shook now with 79 yards rushing in only four carries tonight. So I'll believe up a third down and, well, six and a half, seven yards on the play. 7.20 to go here in the third period. Shockton love to get a first down here and a new set of downs. Let's see what they do here. Ball at the 10, deep in their own territory. Wing T formation. Russ takes a look at everything. Gets a snap. Keeps it rolling, gets it out in the flats, passes caught. They got the first down and out of bounds to Isaac Shook. Nice little play. Shook coming out from that, uh, set up really in that tight end spot, released and caught the pass and picked up the big first down for the Redskins. Yeah, nicely executed play by the Redskins. Just had a nice receiver right in the flats and nice first down and kind of got the yardage they need. Didn't go for the big play, but went for the right play. Picked up nine and a big first down, number eight in the ball game. 7.04, clock is stopped. Out of the huddle, once again, Kashokton in the wing T formation. Rest this time working out of the gun. Handoff, speed sweep. Here comes Whitest to the opposite side, and he slips down. He's going to be down. He's going to lose yards. He tried to cut it back but lost his footing, and it's going to be back at the 14-yard line, so that's going to be a loss of five on the play for Whitest. So second and 15 for the Skins, 640 and moving here in the third period. 21-0 our score. Kashokton out in front on homecoming. Abe Jarvis bringing the play in from the huddle. Clock still moving as we approach 620. Play clock down to nine seconds. They got set up. Rust working out of the gun this time. In motion, White is cross formation. And off Shook, powers it up inside. He has some running room, crosses the 20 and gets out to about the 23-yard line. Just straight ahead running. Actually, that was Corbin Haley that time. So Haley gets it out to the, they're going to say, that's, we'll say the 22. So that's a pickup of eight for Haley. Levi Brown on the stop for the Raiders. 65 yards now for Haley and nine carries. And we got another third and seven situation. Shockton trying to get out from the shadow of their own goal line. 
Russ gets it. He's going to keep it himself. He's got some running room. Cuts it up inside. Keeps his legs moving. He's going to be, whoo, this is going to be close. He kept him moving, and they're going to give him the first down. So nice job by Kobe Russ. Just kept those legs moving. Got to the 29-yard line. That's going to be a first down and a pickup of seven. Absolutely. A very nice run and nice stop by Daniel Toki on the play. So Russ with 54 yards rushing. Kashokton's done a nice job. One, two, four, three players uh, all with, you know, 50-plus yards rushing here. First and ten. That was first down number nine. Clock moving with 5.20 to go here in the third. Kobe Rust gets the snap. The flag comes down. It's going to be a motion penalty on the wide receiver, and he jumped the snap. And that'll be another five-yard penalty. So the penalties keep mounting up for the Redskins. Eight penalties in the ball game for 71 yards is in the football game. Now first and 15 with 5.05 to play here in the third period. Out of the huddle. Once again, wing T formation. Haley offset to the right, left side. Now Whitest moves all the way across the formation. Now he resets. There's a the snap. Russ keeps it himself. He's got some running room. 30, 35, 40, 45. He's trying to break through, and he's going to be brought down. But a nice run by Kobe Russ takes it all the way out across more into Morgan territory, down about inside the 45-yard line. So a big first down for Kashokton. Yeah, very nice run by Kobe Russ. Really turned on the Jets there and showed some speed. I haven't seen in the game yet, but uh, pretty nice tackle by Daniel Toki for the Raiders. 27 yards on that run by Rust. And another first down, number 10 in the ball game for Kashokton. 81 yards running for Kobe Rust tonight. So once again, out of the huddle, into the wing tee. 4.15 and moving here in the third period. There's a snap. He keeps it himself again. He's got some more running room. He's a 40. He's got the alley down the left side. He's the 10, the 5, cuts it back inside. Touchdown, Kishokton. Let's take a look for flags. There's none on the, the field, so a touchdown run for Kobe Rust. Pushes the lead out to 27 to nothing. Yeah, Kobe Russ, as I mentioned, turned on the Jets on the last play there, and he really, really found that outside alley, as you mentioned, and right on into the end zone with a nice cut back about the five-yard line. Still powers through to get to the end zone. Well, an excellent job of running. They faked the ball to Haley, and everybody converged on Corbin Haley, just pulled it out and took it down the sideline and into the end zone for the score. So Bryant will be on to add the PAT. Good snap, kick is, let's see, and it just gets over. The kick is good. So a timeout on the field. The score is Coshocton 28 and Morgan nothing. We'll be back. This is high school football on WTNS Coshocton. The kids are back to school and the fall sports season is underway, and that makes it the perfect time to visit Pearl Valley Cheese. That's right, cheese is great to pack in a lunchbox. It's the perfect snack for busy on-the-go kids and adults. And when you're looking for something special to take to a game or tailgate party, trail bologna and cheese are always a big hit. At Pearl Valley, they offer over 25 different kinds of cheese, including their popular Swiss, Pepper Jack, Mozzarella, Colby Longhorn, Smoky Cheddar, Provolone, and American. Everybody loves cheese, especially Pearl Valley cheese. Visit them on State Route 93 or give them a call at 545-6002. How many times have you wanted to look at a property and didn't know which realtor to call? You want somebody who's patient, understands your interests, and won't try to sell you something you don't want. Find that person in me. Carla Norris from HER Realtors, Coshocton Office. Give me a call today, 740-502-1881. All right, we're back at Coshocton, 28 to nothing as Kobe Russ takes it 44 yards for a score. And with 4.02 in the third, the Redskins have a four-score lead now. And 
Nelson will be kicking off and kick is away. High booming kick once again. They're going to let it go into the end zone. It'll come out to the 20, first and 10 for Morgan. Tell you a very nice kick every time. A lot of air under it. Has the distance all the way to the end zone. That's exactly what you want on your special teams. Twenty-eight to nothing. Our score to Shockton comfortably out in front. Where else? Stakenstein is proud to sponsor tonight's Player of the Game. Tonight's Player of the Game will receive a gift certificate for a famous Warehouse cheeseburger and order their legendary onion rings. This is courtesy of Warehouse Stakenstein in Roscoe Village. First and ten for the Raiders. And once again, Copeland in the backfield behind the quarterback. Brown back, straight back to throw, looking. Throws it out in the flat. He's got a receiver. He makes the catch. He's got good yardage. Gets the first down before being caught and brought down. Pass was completed to Nicewanger and picked up good yardage out to the 31-yard line. I'm going to mark it at the 31. So, P, a pass plays good for 11 yards and the first down. There, ninth of the football game. 33 yards throwing the football day for Levi Brown. First and 10. Out of the huddle they come. Gets a snap, straight back, looking, looking. Passes over in the flat. Passes almost intercepted. Nice coverage by the Redskins. Might be, looks like, I think it might be, I don't know, is it Haley? Corbin Haley, yeah, does a great job. Just flowed right in front and almost with the pick. Yeah, I bet he wish he could have that one back. Almost had that one for a pick six. Six of 15 throwing the football tonight for only 33 yards for the Raiders. They've had a tough time moving the football against this Coshocton defense here this evening. Second and 10, the ball sitting at the 31-yard line. Brown, the quarterback, gets a snap, fakes, back to throw, straight back to throw, passes out in the flats, caught, but he's going to be hit and dropped on the play. And it's Corbin Haley once again comes up closing quickly and knocks him down after a pickup of about three on the play. He didn't have a chance after that catch. Corbin Haley with the big hit, his fifth tackle here in the ballgame. So ball's out to the 34, makes a third down and seven situation for the Raiders. Clock moving. Three minutes to go here in the third period. Two, two receivers split to the right side, two to the left. Brown, the quarterback, Copeland in the back. They fake, back to throw. The blitz is on. He's in trouble trying to get away. Now throws it out in the flat, has a receiver open, but he dropped it. Had him wide open, but in a great throw right on the hands, but just couldn't hang on. So that will make it a fourth down situation in seven, and looks like the punt team coming on. Yeah, Morgan had a had some pretty good success with just kind of powering the football up the middle and have some pretty good size uh, fullbacks there, but kind of gone a little bit more toward the passing here in the third quarter and unsuccessful. Yeah, on the ball game, uh, only seven of 17 throwing it for 36 yards. So, yeah, but it took, you know, in defense, they've had they've had some passes dropped. So it it, it, it hasn't been all defensive stuff. It's just the fact that that's the nice job by. Coshocton's defense plus some, you know, drops by the Morgan Raiders. Punting situation. He's going to see where this one goes. There's another boomer. They're back there this time. And White just takes it at the 15. He's at 20, 25, has an alley. He's at 30. He's at the 35, the 40. Of course, it's midfield and then goes out of bounds at about the 48-yard line of of uh, Morgan, but a nice return as the ball, he caught the ball at the 15-yard line and returns at 35, 36 yards to the 49-yard line of the Morgan Raiders. That punt just for – there's an injured player. That was a 49-yard punt. That, that's two boomers in a row. Absolutely, and when he gets them straight on the field, that's a nice punt. All right, we've got a player down, so we're going to break away for a moment. This is high school football in WTNS, Coshocton. The warehouse taken sign, the home of the legendary onion rings, would like to wish success to all area sports teams this year. The warehouse is the place to go before and after the game. The kitchen is open until 11 p.m. every Friday and Saturday night. The lock is the place to go on weekends to watch the Buckeyes or your favorite NFL team with seven TVs and a variety of food specials. Call 740-622-4001 or go to www. 
WarehouseSteakAndStein.com. We're back, and the Morgan player off under his own power, so we should be ready to resume action here. 2.32 to play here in the third period, 28 to nothing. Coshocton out in front of the Morgan Raiders. Stop by Witt's Frozen Custard of Coshocton every Tuesday where all scoops, all sizes of custard are half-priced. While you're there, check out their selection of frozen custard cakes or call ahead to have one custom-made with your favorite custard flavors. All right, play about ready to resume. Coshocton out over the ball. Ball sits at their Morgan 49-yard line. Once again, the Redskins in the wing tee. Rust running from the gun. Gets a snap, hands the ball to Haley. Haley speed sweep, cuts it up inside 40. And brought down at the 40. So Haley, well, let's see. The one official is going to say they have timeout on the plays or a flag. There is a flag. Let's see what this one is. And Coshocton's walking backwards, so leads me to believe it's on the Redskins, which would kind of be the way it's been here tonight. I still he's marking it off, so I've got to believe it's a hold because it's a 10-yard penalty. So they go back to the 42-yard line. So that'll make it a second and 19, or first and 19 situation. Clock moving. Well, it was supposed to be moving. There we go. 2:20 to go here in the third period. Shocked and out of the huddle. Ball at the 42. Their own 42 now. First and 19. Rust rolling, rolling. Now he throws it out in the pass. Caught by Shook. He's in midfield. He's at the 40 and run out of bounds as he got inside the 40-yard line. It looks like it's going to be enough for the first down. Oh, yep, they're going to say it is. So pass play good to Isaac Shook to the 39-yard line. 19 yards on that completion from Kobe Russ. So he's had a big ball game all the way around. He has. That was a nice catch by Isaac Shook. Kind of running, had to turn kind of opposite direction. Almost caught it with one hand and nice play by Isaac Shook. First and 10 and the ball at the 39-yard line of the Raiders. Russ, the quarterback, gets the snap. He's going to run it himself right up the middle and is hit and brought down as he got to around the 36-yard line. And we have another flag. Almost looked like the flag was before the snap, but not quite sure on the timing. That's a false start and against the Redskins, so that'll back it up five more. And as you mentioned, uh, penalty is a big factor here for the Redskins, although up 28-0, but still uh, those penalties, those little mistakes, those things will cost you. Ten. Ten penalties in the ball game for Coshocton, and, that, and I know Coach Shook is, or Coach Smith is not going to be happy about that. Wing T formation, two split to the right side, hand off Haley, looking now he bounces it outside with that speed, but they got a hold of him and brag, they drag him down at the line of scrimmage for no gain. He almost had a nice cut outside, but uh, the Morgan Raider player had a nice nice hold on Corbin Haley's jersey and brought him down. Real patient runner, just looking for to see where that hole is going to develop, but they got him around the jersey and just couldn't get going. So it'll be a second down and 15 situation. That was Richard Page on the stop for the Raiders. 118 and moving here in the third period. 28 to nothing, Coshocton in front. Redskins out of the huddle. Two split to the left side. Russ, the quarterback, straight back to throw, looking, looking, now throwing deep down the middle. He's looking deep. He's got a receiver just a little bit overthrown, incomplete. That was Judah Nelson racing down there trying to get under it. Yeah, it looked pretty good. Kobe Rust under some pressure there, so really had to get rid of it maybe just a second early, but uh, and just not even a yard, just a foot overthrown, and nice try for the diving catch. So it'll be a third down and 15 situation, 59 seconds to play here in the third period. Trips to the left side, Rust the quarterback, rolls to the left, steps up, is in trouble, and he's going to be sacked. 
back at the 47 yard line. Gerald Hill on the sack for the Raiders. So a loss of two on the play. So it'll bring up a fourth down punting situation. Second time the Redskins have been forced to punt. Coming on is Jacob Lonsberry to do the kicking. Everybody lined up here. Play clock, still plenty of time on the play clock. Oh, they're going to go for it. Let's see what they do. Jarvis is in trouble. Now he gets out of it. Now let's see what he can do. He's going to run, run, run. He's still running. Now he throws a pass, and it's intercepted. So Kashokton trying to come up with some something. Jarvis did a good job eluding a bunch of people. That could have really been trouble, but he threw the pass. It was intercepted. First turnover for the Redskins. So the ball will be go over to Morgan, first and ten. Yeah, Jarvis kind of came to the sidelines and threw his gloves on the ground, his his receiver gloves. So he kind of wondered if something was going to happen there, and it sure did, but uh, didn't catch Morgan off guard on that one. No, they did not. So the ball will be first and ten at the 43-yard line for Morgan with only four seconds to play here in the third period. So Kashok and a little trickery didn't work. So Morgan has it with good field position. Brown rolling to the left side, pass the run, throws it down the sidelines, and boy, two Kashok and people collide, and they were the closest people to the football, almost an interception. That's going to end the third period. So after three, the score, Kashok 28, Morgan nothing. We'll be back. This is high school football on WTNS Kashok. The Home Loan Savings Bank is proud to sponsor the third quarter of tonight's game. The Home Loan Savings Bank offers a wide range of services, including their totally free 360-degree checking. Call 740-622-0444 to learn more. Kishathan Furniture is proud to sponsor the fourth quarter. Furniture galore and so much more at Kishathan Furniture. 341 Main Street. Individual commitment to a group effort. That is what makes a team work, a company work, a society work, a civilization work. Vince Lombardi. This is Brandon Smith from Liddy Scrapyard. Commitment is something we believe in. Commitment from our employees to our customers, schools, and community. This is why we are happy to support this high school football broadcast. For great service and current competitive pricing, give Liddy Scrapyard a call. 740-622-6220. Or visit us on County Road 621, just behind ODOT at the West Edge of Canal Louisville. Did you say, Katie? Pick. Shocked and getting ready to start the fourth quarter. Uh, the uh, a fourth a fourth quarter score up at Ridgewood. Ridgewood leading Dalton by a score of fourteen to seven. Good football game up there. Second down and ten for Morgan. The ball sitting at the forty. Three-yard line, back to throws Brown. Brown looking, throws it out in the flat, has a receiver. He's got it, gave up some ground, and is brought down at the midfield stripe. So he got seven on the completion to midfield. Tried to elude the tackler and was brought down. So completion's good, but that brings up a third down and three situation for the Raiders. Judah Nelson on the stop for the Redskins, his third tackle in the ball game. Third and three. Out of the huddle come... The Raiders, they'll split two to the left, one to the right. Copeland, the running back behind the quarterback, Brown. They give the ball to Copeland. He runs into all kinds of trouble, and he's going to be brought down for a loss on the play of a yard. Nice job by that front of Kashokton. So a fourth down and four, and i got to believe they're going to go for it. Down 28 to nothing, 11 minutes to go in a football game. Punting doesn't seem to make much sense, and it doesn't to the coach over at Coach Bowman for Morgan as he's going to go. High formation, under 11 minutes to play. Snap, rolling to the left side, looking. Look, he's in trouble. There's a flag, and he's going to be hit and dropped, and it's going to be an incomplete pass. So the flag comes down, and it's going to be on, probably going to be on Morgan. It is. It's a holding penalty. But I think Kashokton will decline the penalty and take over on downs. And I tell you, uh, Isaac Shook laid a big hit on the quarterback. 
Brown there. and <laughs> I actually was watching that, and I didn't even see where the pass went. <laughs> I didn't either. That was such a nice hit. Yeah, absolutely. Nice job by Isaac Shook. So, Kashokton takes over on downs, first and ten. So, the Redskins out in front, 28 nothing. have great field position. The ball will be on the Morgan 49. So the Redskins out of the huddle, will come out of the huddle. Dave Jarvis will bring the play in. 10.45 to go in this one. It's been all Kashokton here this evening, 28 to nothing. Wing T formation. Rest the quarterback. Hands off inside. There's some running room, and he plows across the 45 down to the 44-yard lines. Corbin Haley. Haley gets another five. He has 69 yards rushing on the evening, so it makes it a second and five situation for Kashokton. Redskins. Looking to pick up their first win of the season here this evening and look like they're in good position to do it, leading at 28 to nothing. Out of the huddle. Wing T formation. There's a snap. Haley's got some running room. He cuts it outside to the 30. He's to the 20, the 10, the 5. Touchdown, Corbin Haley, but it looked like we have a flag. Let's see. That would be that'd be something new. <laughs> that'd be something new. And let's see what it's going to be. And that one's got to really hurt. I, Coach Smith has got to be so upset with this stuff because that is another penalty. It's going to be another 10-yarder. Yeah, that's one thing when it happens on a two, three-yard gain, but that's another thing when it happens on a 40-yard touchdown, 45-yard touchdown. And he's had a couple other big plays called back here tonight as well. So now it'll be a second down and nine situation as a net four yards on the, on the penalty. Ninety-eight yards and penalties tonight for the Redskins. So second down and eight. Ball sitting at the forty-seven yard line. There's a snap. Now Russ pulls it out and keeps it himself. And <laughs> it was a battle to see who was going to get that handoff. He kept it himself. Cut it up inside the forty-five to the forty-four yard line. So he got four on the play. One hundred twenty-seven yards rushing for Kobe Rust here this evening. So it's a third down situation. Under ten minutes to play in the ball game. Out of the huddle come the Redskins. 11 penalties tonight for 98 yards for Kashokt, and that, that would be a something of a concern. There's a handoff. This time Haley keeps it wide. He's going to get the first down, and he pounds across the 40, down to around the 36-yard line before they get him down. Good hard run. Picks up eight. Haley now with 77 yards and 12 carries. First down, number 13 for the Redskins. And they keep the drive alive with 8.55 to go in the ball game. Eight forty-five and moving here in the fourth period. Wing T is as per usual. There's the snap. Handoff. Haley is going to be in trouble this time, and a good job of getting some good penetration. And get Haley for a, well, let's see, about a four-yard loss on that play. It was Gerald, Gerald Hill on the stop for the Raiders, his fourth tackle of the ball game. So back at the 40-yard line. And it'll make it a second and 14 situation. To, well, they still have plenty of time on the play clock, 15 seconds. It looked like they were a little slow getting out. Now they're ready to go. Clock hits eight minutes to go in a football game. Still having problem getting set up. They may have to call timeout here. Now they, I think they're ready. 
They are. They're going to call timeout. Coach Smith was watching it, and he's a now, no, no. Let's see what's going on here. So, Coshocton gets a timeout, and we'll we'll break away for a moment. We'll, this is high school football on WTNS Coshocton. See appearance supply glass and paint your window tinting specialist for Johnson's window tinting for residential and vehicles. Johnson's window tints are designed for style, protection, and heat reduction, and they have a lifetime warranty. And right now at Appearance Supply Glass and Paint, you can save 10% on Johnson's window tinting. Remember Appearance Supply Glass and Paint for auto glass, including windshields, residential, and commercial glass, and they stock PPG automotive paint and supplies. That's Appearance Supply Glass and Paint, 115 Bridge Street, Coshocton. Front, uh, 7.51 to go in the ball game. And the ball is at the Morgan 40-yard line. Second and 14. Shockton taking that time out when everybody having a tough time getting lined up. Now well, looks like they've got it under control. Wing T formation. Rust under center this time. Man in motion's widest. Now he rolls back to throws in trouble. Steps out. Throws a pass. He's got a receiver wide open. Shook is out to 20. The 15, the 10, the 5. Touchdown, Kashokton. So a pass played tight end. That time, Isaac Shook set up in the tight end position. Beautiful throw by Rust. And the Redskins now lead it 34 to nothing. Absolutely. A very nice uh, touchdown there. And Isaac Shook with a great catch and a great run after the catch. When your family is ready to find a different home, call Sherry Horn or Stephanie Conrad at Century 21 Court Square Realty. They're located at 404 Main Street in Coshocton. That phone number for Century 21 Court Square Realty is 740-622-3731. All right, and Brian on to add the PAT. Kick is high enough, long enough, and good enough. So with 7.41 to go in the football game, Coshocton has stretched it out to 35 to nothing. We'll be back. This is high school football on WTNS Coshocton. This is the Buckeye Beverage Barn in West Lafayette has carry-out salads, pizza, calzones, and their new wings. Place your orders at 545-9525. Buckeye Beverage Barn has the area's best selection of cold drinks and hot food with all the convenience of their drive-thru. See them for snacks, bagged ice, salads, and delicious pizza. Order yours tonight at 545-9525. Drive through and see them seven days a week at the Buckeye Beverage Barn on Main Street in West Lafayette. Do you need a new or newer vehicle? Hi, I'm Jeff Drennan, and we are here to help in both sales and service. At my dealerships in Coshocton and Zanesville, we work hard to get you the best car deal possible, including during the current conditions in the car industry. Or if you want to sell your vehicle and it has under 100,000 miles, just stop in and see us and let us make you an offer. Stop in today at Jeff Drennan's Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram of Coshocton, Jeff Drennan Ford, or Jeff Drennan's GM Superstore in Zanesville. And always remember, when you're thinking of buying a new car, it's time to talk to Jeff. All right, we're back, and Coshocton's leading at 35 to nothing, and we have moved into it with this 30 30 plus lead it'll be a continuous clock and Coshocton will be kicking with Judah Nelson and kicks a booming kick once again down the middle of the field and this time they're going to play it the ball is at the 10 to 15 Copeland is brought down as he got just close to the 20s and that's been about the starting point all night long for Morgan they just have not been able to get out of the shadow of their own goal line so first and 10 for Morgan, 7-14 to play in the football game. Ball at the 20-yard line. An impressive performance tonight by Coshocton on homecoming. Looks like Coshocton's going to take a few of the seniors and first string out and try a few other guys in there on defense. I have to get my glasses on. Glasses on for this. All right, first and 10 for Morgan. Clock moving down to seven minutes. There's a snap, handoff. Copeland bounces inside, gets some good yardage as he pounds it out across the 25 to about the, well, let's mark it the 27 yard line. So pick up of seven for Copeland. Copeland up to 51 yards rushing, but it's taken him 18 carries to get there. 
Ball at the 27, second and three. Receiver split left and right, and then have a slot receiver. There's a handoff once again. Copeland's got running room, crosses the 30, drags people across the 35 to about, well, they're going to mark it right at the 35-yard line. So Copeland gets eight on the carry. Israel Rice on the stop for the Redskins. First down, number 10 for the Morgan Raiders. They've had some first downs, but five have come by penalties tonight, so half of their first downs have come via the penalty route. There's a snap, straight back to throw. Brown running out of the pocket, is in trouble, and he did get a couple yards before a couple Redskins collapse and bring him down. We'll give him, well, we'll give him three on the carry. Number 26, Jeffrey Mills on the stop for the Redskins. Second down and eight. Ball sitting at the 38. Well, second down and seven at the 38-yard line. Brown, the quarterback, now shifts Copeland over to the left side. Straight back to throw, looking, pass down the sideline, incomplete. And he tried to make a catch down at around the 45-yard line. Only 8 of 21 throwing the football tonight for Levi Brown for 43 yards. Just have not been able to hook up with that passing offense. 4.50 here in the ball game. Looks like a few of the Redskins down there getting the coolers ready for Coach Smith. <laughs> Third down and seven. Brown gets everybody set, trips to the right side. There's a snap, straight back to throw, looking down the middle of the field, has a guy open, and he makes the catch and is brought down. Nice throw and picks up good yardage and a first down. That throw, he's brought down. Let's see where they're going to mark it. They're going to mark it at the, looks like the 32-yard line. So good throw and a big play for a first down. First down number 12. There's the standoff. Copeland has it. Bounces through one tackler. Gets the outside. He's got some running room and goes over one defender and gets down to around the 22-21 yard line. Jackson Smith on the stop for the Redskins. They're going to mark him just short of the first down at the 23. So that's a pickup of nine for Copeland. He's up to 68 yards rushing and 20 carries in the football game. Out of F2 split to the left. Once again, Copeland has it. Has a big hole right down the center of the field. He looks like he's going to get into the end zone. Touchdown for Morgan. So Morgan takes the ball from their 20-yard line and methodically takes it down to get their first score of the game. So with 3-10 to play, Morgan on the board makes it 35-6. to Yeah, nice run by Copeland. He uh, has done a pretty good job on this last series, really finding the hole and doing some nice cuts to, to get some wide open runs there and a nice job on that play by Morgan. Up to 91 yards rushing in the football game and 21 attempts. They'll try to add on the PAT. And now we've got a... I know! <laughs> So they have a officials uh, <laughs> fixing the play clock. On a oh, the, the, the kick, and he just barely gets it over. We watched him in the pregame, and we was knocking him down from way out, and that one just barely gets over. It's about with 3.10 to play in the football game. It's now 35-7. to We'll be back. This is high school football on WTNS. Kishokton. The Inslee Agency is proud to be a part of this high school sports broadcast. We support the student-athletes on the team and the students in all extracurricular activities. 
Hi, I'm Todd Inslee. In fact, your good student may qualify for discounted auto insurance rates. We can provide you with homeowner's insurance and life insurance from Auto Owners Insurance. Insure both of us and save even more. For a no obligation quote on auto, homeowners, or life insurance from Auto Owners Insurance, call the Inslee Agency at 622-1111. Each McWayne facility is active in its local community. Every year, McWayne team members give back by donating their time and resources. At McWayne, they believe in being a good corporate neighbor, as well as a good citizen. And that means supporting initiatives that will add value to their community. The McWain family of companies is committed to making a difference. They are proud to be a part of the Coshocton community and are pleased to bring you this program. Back and Morgan will be kicking to Coshocton. 35 to 7 our score, 310 to play in the football game. Back under 30 points, so we're back to regulation time. Approaches the kick is squib kick over to the right side, and Coshocton covers it at the 31-yard line. That's where they'll take over first and 10. Coshocton will have it first and 10. Got some more substitutions coming in for the Redskins. Let's see who they come out with at quarterback. And off looks like powering up inside. Quarterback is Conkle. And Wright's the running back, I believe. Let's see if we when he gets up. Pick up of two on the carry. Ball sitting at the 33. Second down and eight. Conkle the quarterback. Hand off. Bounces it inside. Runs into a host of defenders and is brought down about the origin, about the line of scrimmage. Gerald Hill on the stop for the Raiders, his fifth tackle of the ball game. Jackson Smith got the carry, and we have a Morgan Raider down, so we'll break away and be back. This is high school football on WTNS, Coshocton. The Fisher Funeral Home in Warsaw is proud to sponsor this event as we support the families and individuals that have trusted us with their business through our four generations of service to the community. As the oldest family-owned and operated funeral home in Coshocton County, we understand the importance of supporting our youth and fostering pride in our community. Please call us anytime at 740-824-3515 for any of your pre-need or at-need funeral counseling needs. You can also visit our website at fisherfuneralhome.com. The Fisher Funeral Home, serving others as we would like to be served since 1937. If you're a business or do-it-yourselfer looking for the best possible siding for your home or office, then stop by MRV Siding Supply. They offer the number one rated panel on the market, Cedar Max Super Polymer Insulated Siding by Provia. Cedar Max provides outstanding performance inside and out with impact resistance, impervious to moisture, flame... Shocked and breaks the huddle. It'll be third down and nine with 2.15 to play in the football game. Conkle the quarterback. Rolling, looking to pass a run, throws it down. It's caught. He's got some running room, the 40, and powers out to about the 45. Nice play. Making the catch on the play for Coshocton is Riley Woody, and he moves it all the way out to the 43-yard line. That's going to be enough for a first down as they picked up 10 on the pass play. Yeah, nice pass and nice catch, and uh, extremely nice catch, and Richard Page on the tackle for the Raiders. So 15 first downs, and coach, and they're trying to dump it on the, one of the coaches, but he escaped, didn't get wet. First down, there's Woody, powers up inside and crosses the 45 to about the 46, 47-yard line. So Woody gets four on the carry. 
Makes it second down and four. One minute and 30 seconds to go in this one. We saw Riley Woody in, in the you know, mop-up roll up at Ridgewood, and he ran hard that night as well. Certainly did. Wing T formation. In motion, handoff, speed sweep. Trying to get outside. Gets a block. And stays in bounds. Clock keeps moving. Did get a couple yards on the carry. And that was Jackson Smith. Picks up two. That'll make it now a third down situation. Under a minute to go here at Coshocton. Ball at the, out to the 48-yard line of the Redskins. 40 seconds, Shockton out. They get into the wing T formation. Conkle makes the call. Rolling, throws out in the flat. Pat is, passes caught, and he might get the first down, and he does. Nice little throw, making the catch was Smith. And another first down for Coshocton, their 17th of the night, and that'll be move it into Morgan territory at the 44-yard line. And another 10-yard on the completion. Shockton up to 124 yards passing. 120 yards passing for the Skins. Now they go into the victory formation, so they'll get everybody set, take a knee, and that should just about do it. Yeah, it looks like play clock and game clock about the exact same time. So, Looks like they're going to have to run it. And he does, takes the knee, and that's the ball game. So Coshocton gets their first win of the season as they defeat Morgan here this, after, this evening by a score of 35-7. to We'll be back and tell you about it. This is high school football on WTNS, Coshocton. Coshocton Furniture is proud to sponsor the fourth quarter. Furniture galore and so much more at Coshocton Furniture. 341 Main Street. If you're a business or do-it-yourselfer looking for the best possible siding for your home or office, then stop by MRV Siding Supply. They offer the number one rated panel on the market, Cedar Max Super Polymer Insulated Siding by Provia. Cedar Max provides outstanding performance inside and out with impact resistance, impervious to moisture, flame retardant, and noise reduction, giving you peace of mind. For Cedar Max Super Polymer Insulated Siding by Provia, Call MRV Siding Supply at 800-524-7436. Visit them on the web at mrvsiding.com. The Post Game Report is brought to you by the Warehouse Stegenstein and PRNI's Watt 27. Meet your friends after the game at the Warehouse Stegenstein in historic Roscoe Village. Otsego Carryout in Coshocton is the only stop for whatever you need. Check out their deli, meat and cheese, a freshly made grab-and-go sandwich, and a large selection of Walnut Creek favorites. Otsego Carryout has these new items. Lemon, chocolate, and carrot cake rolls sold by the cake or piece, pasta salad, potato salad, Bob's famous homemade coleslaw, and the original chicken salad is back. Stop by Otsego Carryout today. If they don't have it, you don't need it. Thank you. 
Stuck in a state of falling behind, struggling to keep up with your kids, finances, insurance? Then let me, State Farm Agent Kyle Libby, in Coshocton, help you simplify and get to a better state. Because with me handling your auto, home, and life insurance, you'll have more time for everything else. More money, too. Because adding State Farm policies can mean earning discounts worth up to 40%. That's money I can put towards a college savings plan. Call me, State Farm Agent Kyle Libby, today and get to a better state with State Farm. Hi, this is Christy from Hubner's Auto Care. Does your vehicle need brakes, shocks, struts, AC work, an oil change, tire rotation, or other mechanical work? If you want honest quality work at reasonable rates, come to Hubner's Auto Care. You can trust our experienced ASC certified technicians to always be upfront with you about what repairs you need or you don't need and to do those repairs right. For reasonable rates and quality work, it's Hubner's Auto Care, 512 Chestnut Street in Coshocton beside the post office. Call us at 740-622-4587. Petticord Rice Auction Realty is a full-service auction and real estate company. Whether on-site or online auctions, their auction staff handles every aspect of your auction, from setup to completion. And for real estate, they walk you through all the necessary steps of buying or selling your property. They would love the opportunity to serve you. For appointments and free consultations, call 740-622-3111 or visit their website. At Petticord Rice Auction Realty, they don't just list homes, they sell them. I'll tell you what, it was an impressive night for the Redskins as they win 35-7, to and we'll tell you just how that happened. First quarter, things got underway really quick with 11.24 to go in the first period. Kashokton scored on this play. Way to split wide right. Haley offset to the left side behind the quarterback rust. White is in motion, gets a hand off on a speed sweep. Goes wide, cuts it up inside the 30. He's the 25 to 20, the 15 to 10, five touchdown, Kishockton. And they waste no time as Caden White is on the inside handoff, gets it at the 38, no flags. Touchdown, Redskins. They added the PAT, made it 7 to nothing with 129 to play in the first period. Coshocton again got on the board on this play. Hand off to Shook up the middle. He has running room. He's got plenty of room. He's the midfield. He's a 40. He's a 30. I don't think anybody's going to get him. He's going to take it to the house. Touchdown, Coshocton. And that's Isaac Shook, number 12. Just a trap play up the middle, and he goes all the way for the touchdown. They added the PAT, and it was 14 to nothing. With 9.56 to go in the first half, Coshocton got their third score of the night. Wing T formation, under center, Jarvis. Hands the ball to Haley, speed sweep to the five, to the three. Touchdown, Corbin Haley. Just a handoff, cut it back up inside and into the end zone for the touchdown. They once again added the PAT, and we went to halftime with the score, Coshocton leading 21 to nothing. In the second half, Coshocton scored again with 4.02 to go in the, uh, third, uh, in the third quarter on a 44-yard touchdown run by Kobe Rust. They added the point after touchdown there to take a 28 to nothing lead. And with 7.41 to go in the football game, a 40-yard touchdown pass from Rust to Isaac Shook was the final score for the Redskins. They added the PAT leading at 35 to nothing. Morgan got a a late score with 3.10 to go on a 23-yard touchdown run by Copeland. They got the PAT, and that was the final score. Coshocton winning it here this evening by a score of 35-7. to We'll be back in a moment. Well, I got gotcha. you. Tonight's Extreme Game Highlights have been brought to you by Extreme Rental Purchase. For Ashley, Whirlpool, Dell, LG, and more, visit Extreme Rental Purchase located in the downtown plaza. Now we'll be back with the final numbers in a moment. This is High School Football on WTNS, Coshocton. Petticord Rice Auction Realty is a full-service auction and real estate company. Whether on-site or online auctions, their auction staff handles every aspect of your auction, from setup to completion. And for real estate, they walk you through all the necessary steps of buying or selling Life your property. They would love what the opportunity to, to serve you. you. For appointments away, and free consultations, call 740-622-3111 or 
visit their website. At Petticord Rice Auction Realty, they don't just list homes, they sell them. Individual commitment to a group effort. That is what makes a team work, a company work, a society work, a civilization work. Vince Lombardi. This is Brandon Smith from Liddy Scrapyard. Commitment is something we believe in. Commitment from our employees to our customers, schools, and community. This is why we are happy to support this high school football broadcast. For great service and current competitive pricing, give Liddy Scrapyard a call. Morgan, they ended up with 114 yards uh, on the night, led by Carson Go uh, Copeland, who finished with 91 yards rushing. They threw the ball 23, 23 times, completed nine for 76 yards, so their total yardage, 190 yards. They did have 12 first downs in the ball game, only two penalties tonight for 20 yards and one turnover. For Coshocton, they had 320 yards rushing, and they were led by Kobe Rust in the ball game, who had 127 of those yards rushing. Isaac Shook had 79. Uh, Corbin Haley added another 73 for the Coshocton rushing attack. They threw the ball 11 times, completed 7 for 124 yards. So total yardage tonight for Coshocton, 444 yards. They had 17 first downs and one turnover. The only real negative for the Redskins tonight, they had 11 penalties in the ball game for a total of 98 yards. So now let's take a look at the final defensive numbers. Thank you, Coos. Leading the way defensively for the Coshocton Redskins was Corbin Haley with five tackles. Dustin Hall next with four tackles. And with three tackles apiece, Judah Nelson, Jacob Lonsberry, Trey Cox, Landon Wentz, and with two tackles apiece, Isaac Shook and Teague Hardesty. And with one tackle apiece, Kobe Rust, Brandon Crown, Connor Cox, Israel Rice, and Jeffrey Mills and Jackson Smith. Leading the way for the Morgan Raiders was Gerald Hill with five tackles. Next up, oh, with also five tackles, Daniel Toki. And with two tackles apiece, Logan Nicewanger, Aiden Weaver, Cameron McCoy, Zane Lloyd, Wade Pauley, and Richard Page. And with one tackle apiece, Levi Brown, Coleman Welsh, and Kyle Campbell. On third down conversions, Coshocton four for nine, Morgan four for 12. Well, I'll tell you what, Chris, uh, impressive night for the Redskins. They are 0-3 coming in. Defensively, they, other than the Ridgewood game, had played pretty well, but just couldn't get that offense untracked, and a lot of it had to do with penalties. Had a bunch of them tonight, but big plays got them through. Absolutely. You know, I think the last I heard you say was Coshocton with uh, 100 yards and penalties, and to still come out victorious, you know, great job by the Redskins. But, you know, they were due for one, and uh, nothing better than on homecoming night on your home field and, and getting a big victory against Morgan. So, uh, yeah. Things started out really well offensively for the Redskins. Started to slow down, but, uh, you know, kind of kept things rolling and, and a nice victory here by the Redskins tonight. Our last order of business tonight is going to be the Warehouse uh, Stakenstein player of the game. And we're going to give that to quarterback Kobe Rust. Nice ball game for him tonight. Threw for over 100 yards, rushed for over 100 yards, threw a touchdown pass and scored one. So Kobe Rust will be the beneficiary of a gift certificate good for a famous warehouse cheeseburger in an order of their legendary onion rings. And this is courtesy of the warehouse Stakenstein in Roscoe Village. So once again, the, well, first of all, i got to thank a bunch of people here tonight. We've got my partner, Chris. We've got John Williams. Bunch of people back, Fred and uh, uh, Matt Hartley, Lydia <laughs> Brady, <laughs> Bryce Lonsinger. <laughs> the list goes on. And John. Katie and Katie Holtz back at WTNS Central. I'm Steve Corey's final score here tonight. It's Kashokton, a winner over Morgan by a score.